You think I care about this shit? Ask me if I care about this shit, cause I don't give a shit. If I had a dollar for every time they said I gave a shit, I'd be broke, cause I don't give a shit. I'm not loyal to anybody, I'm a demon. I have no loyalty for anyone. Never did, never will. He's fat! Drink gas and cutting straight to the bricks. Ha <laughs> ha. Popped a perk 30, got straight to fucking. Popped a old garbanzo bean. Fuck you mean. I'm sick in the head. Y'all can't fuck with me. This shit ain't nothing to me, you stupid piece of shit. What's all been filtered crack? You stupid piece of shit. The chap. Shorty chose to be with a demon. Sounds like her problem to me. She spread it, and let me take a deep sniff of that slime. That coochie yummy slime. That coochie doing it for me slime. I don't give a fuck if I go blind. I'll have to stun on them next time. Drink gas and cutting straight to the bricks. Ha <laughs> ha. Popped a perk 30, got straight to fucking. Dog. Popped a old garbanzo bean. Fuck you mean. I wanna have I, sex. I'm sick in the head. Y'all can't fuck with me. You can't trust me. I don't even trust myself. I have no sympathy. I don't know who I am anymore. I'm getting too much money. Can you remind me who I am? Get the president on the phone now. I'm him. I've been him. I will continue to be him. This is... Shall we remind him who he is since he forgot? Well, let's do that. This is how life is. Life is not like this. Life is like this. Think... But I'm Darkseid Phil. I am not any other content creator or streamer. I'm Darkseid Phil. I'm the guy. I'm the guy. An e-baking scammer. Um, I'm the guy. Mark my fucking words. Stupid anime bitch. I'm the guy. 14 years as an e-beggar and a scammer and WWE champion. Take a look around. I'm the guy. Life is tough right now. I guess I'm proud to be a loser. Down there at level one. Well, you know what? It's nice at level one. I'm the guy. An e-baking scammer. Please hit me. I'm the guy. Mark my fucking words. Stupid anime bitch. I'm the guy. I'm the guy. An e-baking scammer. Um. I'm the guy. Take a look around. Stupid anime bitch. I'm the guy. I'm the guy. Do a begathon where it took me and do this and do that. We're not doing that. It's business as usual here on DSP Gaming. We play games. We have fun. If you guys like it, you support it. The week is going slow. Tough through it. So how are you doing? This is how I'm doing. Tips very low now. But I've noticed tips very low right now. The week is going slow. It gets to me. My life is ruined. This is how I'm doing. The losers out there think that they know shit. Kiss my fucking ass and eat my shit right now. A full podcast book, full gameplay streams book. Everything's book. Everything's book. Can't do anything crazy. And I don't even have enough to buy groceries. It sucks. The week is going slow. Tough through it. So how are you doing? This is how I'm doing. Tips very low now. But I've noticed tips very low right now. The week is going slow. It gets to me. My life is ruined. This is how I'm doing. The losers out there who think that they know shit. Kiss my fucking ass and eat my shit right now. So how are you doing? This I want to have sex with your wife. So how are you doing? I have no this sympathy. So how are you doing? This is how I'm doing. 
to hide. All right, everybody, last song, and we're ready to go. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna find out who the fuck you are. You motherfucker. You are fucked. Let this clip this one. Bitch. Okay, mom. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. You are fucked. And you are dumb. I'm coming for you. Coming for you. I'm coming for you. Sound good? Coming for you. Fair enough? Coming for you. Alright. Please talk about boys. So I'm looking. Please talk about punk ass bitch. I'm looking. 30, 40, 50, sissified boys from the bottom. 30, 40, 50, ass busters. Ain't no clapback videos. Why? What is it that serious? But I need boys. Please, the creator. Bless me, but I need boys. Please allow my boy sperms to go fast and shoot fast enough. Go fast enough. Please. Please, the creator, please bless me. I want to have sex with your wife. Mark my fucking words. Talk about my wife. I'm clean. Blood, shit, and bullets. You are fucked. And you are dumb. I'm coming for you. They all so dumb. 30, 40, 50, punk ass bitches. I'm the one coming for you. You are fucked. You are dumb. Yo. I'm coming for you. Coming for you. 30, 40, 50, punk ass. Coming for you. Coming for you. There may be some gunfire. 30, 40, 50, sissified boys. Yeah, yeah, we got the loud ass intro again. Ladies and gentlemen. Hype! Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. Alright, ready to go. Ready to go. Welcome everybody to uh, number five of the Swaycast. Children's entertainment for adults. And today... Uh, we're kind of going to be talking about the same thing we did last time, but there is a huge development, you guys. DSP figured out how to fix things, and the the solution is just asking for more money from the people that are already paying him legitimate money. So yes, that's that's the cure. That's the solution. Who would think that this whole thing would get solved by people just giving him more money than they used to? Am I right? Uh, before we get to that, we got some uh, quick housekeeping stuff to do. First of all, I'm uh, also going to watch, where did I even put that? Here it is, Gundam stream from yesterday, where, uh, first of all, shout out to him for playing my song, the latest song, Darkula Flow, uh, this one that you heard in the beginning. And then, I'm also working uh, with him on something for his stream, so you're going to get to hear that soon, but it's nothing special, it's very short. Uh, but I was glad to help out with that. Then, he is going to be joining us today for the group thing, where we're going to be listening to your messages, and he's going to be a part of the people answering it. Then, what is then? Then that's kind of it. Um, first, I wanted to go through the channels and see how they've been doing, since I haven't watched this dude in a while, and pretty much everything I've seen about him is on Twitter. I don't even remember what my last stream was. It kind of sucks that now that I have the best setup I've ever got, it's, it's probably my, my dream streaming setup. I don't get to stream as often. But, you know, you know how life works as a mature adult. Uh, anyways, we got DSP Throwback up here. As you can see, a very healthy channel is doing great. Uh, DSP also did a reaction event uh, watching his own Red Dead Redemption playthrough. Uh, apparently it wasn't great because there are some videos that are from one day ago that got less than 300 views. 
And this goes on for the entire channel. You can scroll down to videos that are like two weeks old that haven't even broken like 400 views. Look at this here, 400. Here we got another 483. It's, uh, yeah, not, not very good. Not the best, considering this is his uh, yet another effort to, uh, I don't know, become prominent or actually, you know, do something. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's working to me. I'm not going to watch any of this react because it looks dumb as shit. Uh, what I will say is that one of these Final Fantasy parts had a very edgy joke in the beginning that I don't even think it was that bad, but he clipped it out. He removed it from uh, the actual video that was re-uploaded. It was a joke about, um, what was it, like high school teachers having sex with students and he's basically saying like, oh, where were these high school teachers when I was in high school? Uh, but he clipped it out because it was right in the beginning of the video and strong language in the beginning of the video is going to get you demonetized so you see very interesting so that's about it with this channel it's pretty much the the business as usual trash uh here the business is not as usual matter of fact it's pretty bad and why is it bad we got two nice uh, emergency videos in which you can see the thumbnail he's making basically the exact same face in all of them it is pretty crazy Pretty crazy. Look at this. The, the one big news, the solution, membership solution found. Please watch and consider upgrading to keep the clip show alive. Uh, so, yeah, let me explain this beforehand. Uh, I, I was listening to a couple people's videos on the membership thing, and his solution isn't really a solution. It's kind of like a patchwork fix. It's kind of like a, a homemade fix to his situation. It's not really going to change anything. People are still able to be gifting him hundreds of subs, um, excuse me, memberships, uh, which basically makes it so at some point he just reaches a limit of people that are able to accept them and real people can't gift memberships. Pretty, pretty interesting, isn't it? So let's, uh, I don't even know where to begin. I was thinking of watching a, one of the few pre-streams from the last couple of days, but I think we should first, since this video says extremely important in the title, I think I should give it the attention it deserves because it's obviously extremely important. Hello everyone here on DSP React. I'm Darkside Phil. Of course, I'm the owner and operator of this channel. I He's the owner and operator. Almost a year of operation. If you're not aware, it was back in February of 2023 that I launched DSP Reacts as a rebranding of my old defunct uh, vlogging channel. And it's gone really well, although this channel has definitely has its ups and downs and different things. Um, but the one staple of this channel that has persisted over the year that you guys absolutely love and support is the weekly clip show DSP versus the Internet. The reason that I'm making this video is because it's... Now, we're, we're already trying to muddy the waters here because people don't really absolutely love or support that show. That's why he usually ends up begging quite a bit during those shows because they don't really get him a lot of tips. And the only thing that made this channel viable, as he's admitted in the past and probably will admit in this video, is people becoming members or, of course, gifting memberships. Important video. Please spread the word about it to everyone who likes this channel. We have to change the way the show works because we're being forced to change the way the memberships work on DSP Reacts. Right now, the way it works is if you become a standard channel member on this channel, you get to submit clips into a randomized playlist, which we watch every week, and some people get their clips watched and some don't. It's completely random. That way, it's fair. Oh, hold on. Before we get into this, uh, a quick, quick um, peek at Twitter. What is happening on Twitter, I guess? Uh, let's see this one. So, Phil, just nothing special. You know, he's playing Street Fighter, being nothing toxic as usual. It's all he has to do. There's no effort here. No skill or effort in anything he's done. That's it. No skill or effort in anything you've done. Zero. Zero skill or effort. Just stand there and throw sign and boom. The game doesn't work right online. You can't react to it, you fucking numbskull idiot. So if you want to do that, then why even play a fighting game? You could go play. You could play a shoot 'em up. You could go play fucking Grady. You could go play. Uh, what's that really good side scrolling one? R type. And you could do that. You could throw a million projectiles and destroy tons of shit. You don't have to play a fighting game to do it. Go play R type. You fucking buffoon. You mouth drooler. Oh. You don't understand how to play fighting games. You abuse the netcode. <laughs> and you know, if if you're bound to call a thousand people a certain name, 
at some point you're gonna reach somebody who that name actually applies to and is offensive to so this was the guy that he was making fun of this dude uh, spliced helix and his thing is that he's just a disabled dude in june of 2011 my right hand fell asleep and didn't wake up etc 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 it's like 95 percent numb so it's an actual disabled dude so he he got lucky he got lucky as he is ah oh, there we go that was a, a, a worth a mention it's a pretty fun moment that happened I'm big ups Cody Taylor for 15 months, dude. And then we have a super supporter level that's in the middle. And that super supporter level means not only do you get to submit clips, but you also get to ask me questions in a QA and a fashion that I, I answer on the show. If you're an ultra supporter, you're guaranteed to have your clips watched on that show every week. Um, I like having it like that. The formula has worked for the year. We, we messed around with it a little bit. We got it working perfect. It's like a well-oiled machine. And now every week we do the show and everyone has a good time. But now we have to change it because of trolling and YouTube loopholes that have been found by malicious parties. Uh, what I mean by that, if you haven't been around recently to realize what's going on, someone found a way to use a VPN, which is a virtual private network, to act like they're living somewhere else outside of where they really live. And they found that there are certain countries that if you pretend you live in, you can buy things on YouTube for incredibly cheap. For example, as you know, the standard membership on this channel is $3.99 USD. I don't know what it is in pounds. I think it's a little bit more, perhaps, because of the conversion rate. But they found a way to buy memberships for less than a penny. Dozens of memberships for less than a penny. So this person has maliciously been going around all of my channels, gifting 50 member bombs, 20 member bombs, basically blowing the channels up with memberships, uh, for which I'm going to... Sorry for the dead air. I choked on some coffee. I almost died. <laughs> to make maybe a quarter across all the channels, okay? Now, on my other channels, it doesn't really matter. Who cares if on DSP Gaming or my new throwback uh, channel, DSP Throwback, if that happens, not a big deal. But on this channel, this now essentially changes the way that the DSP versus the internet show would work. Because right now, just so you guys know, we have around 100 consistent members on this channel who are full paying members. But now, all of a sudden, we have 300 new gifted ones. So now instead of 100 people competing, we have 400. How is it fair to yep. you, the legit member who paid for your membership on this channel for the right amount of money that you have to compete with another 300 people out there who did not pay and no money was basically made on those memberships because of a troll, right? It would destroy the show. There's no way we I could go through hundreds of submitted clips and make a playlist. It's not oh, fair. It's really stupid how he keeps going on and on about how these memberships are fake or a scam oh man almost fucking died yeah it's uh they're not really scammy it's just you know it's just better value to be honest to those who actually are paying it's just not fair all around it's really unfair um and so because of that we have to change the nature of the show all right but sadly, I have to do it in a very weird and difficult way, and it's not the way I want to do it. I have to do it in order to prevent that when I change these membership levels around and make new ones, that basically these trolls cannot keep gifting memberships and ruin the channel again. So the only way to do that, all right, is to make it so that the tier of membership where you can submit clips for DSP versus the internet is high enough above the standard member, member level that it cannot be gifted. Just so you know, I know this is sounding very technical. On YouTube, YouTube will gift a membership all the way up to $5 in value. At $5- it's Yeah, but, but it's still fucking scammy. Because what he could have done is make the basic level like a dollar. And the second level would still be like $3.99 or whatever. But instead, I'm going to give you a little spoiler. His members get nothing. Lol. Pretty Well, on that channel, they get... Uh, they used to be able to submit, but now they will get nothing and like it. So what he actually did is just make the memberships cost two dollars more. That's actually fucking crazy. That's the that's the greed goblin right here. And big ups for the membership, Steve ah, Dave. So the only way you can get a gifted membership on YouTube is if you have a membership level that's below five. And by the way, remember how this didn't bother him a couple of days ago, and now we have an extremely important video about it dollars damn so you might say well that's a no-brainer then make a membership level that's just above five dollars well i'd love to do that but you can't on youtube you can only do it by 99 cent increments so the only way 
I can prevent someone from spamming these. Oh yeah, okay. Memberships. I get it. Show is to have a member level that's five dollars and ninety nine cents USD. <laughs> but so the the only thing that happens here is you end up exploiting your viewers more. So they have to pay to compensate for you not getting paid as much as you want. That's pretty fucking scummy. Like you're you're making your actual enjoyers suffer just because somebody is trolling you. That doesn't sound fair to me. If he's talking about what is fair and what's not fair. In order to submit clips for the show, okay? I don't think it's fair to be paying $2 extra uh, on, on top of something that also, it, it already didn't have any value to begin with because essentially all you get to do is send this drunk dude a video that he's just gonna skip through and say that it's fucking boring. It was already too expensive to begin with. But there's a problem with that. You guys right now are only paying $3.99 USD. I'm not just going to do a $2 price increase. That wouldn't be fair. That's okay? exactly what he's going to do. I'm not going to charge you $2 more for the same exact thing you have because some troll wants... That's exactly what he ends up doing. It's to mess with us. You know? You didn't do it. And he was so proud of this solution. He's so proud of it anything wrong why would you have to pay more for the same i'm not netflix i'm not disney plus i'm not going to start raising prices and charging more for the same content all right so here's the solution but this creates another challenge okay the solution is here's what i'm going to do this week probably within one to two days of me uploading this video i'm going to cancel the standard and super level memberships of this channel he That's didn't do any of that by the way the vast majority of you I think there's two super members, but there's like 90 something standard members. I'm going to cancel them all. All right. No, this happens, didn't happen. None of you will be members anymore. Yeah, we don't have to even talk about this because it didn't happen. Same exact submission method. So I will have a thread. You guys will post up Q&A questions in that thread. One each. I'll let you post up one question each. So that way we don't get flooded. Oh, there was a, I want to find that segment where he talked about being a lol cow and how people forced him to be a lol cow. That was the best, man. I saw some clips on Twitter and I wish I was watching it live. To my selection method where every week, probably when we start part five of the show, for about 20 minutes, I'm just gonna pick maybe four to five random questions out of that list and answer them live on the show. So you're getting added value. You have a chance to have your clip watched and now you also have a chance to get your question answered on the show. Bro, if did, did all of his ideas just end up in Q&A. Have you noticed that? Whenever we need some kind of a random idea, it's just like, oh, I don't know, dude, just ask me a question. If you are a super member, you're essentially getting exactly what you used to get, but now it's cheaper. If you were a standard member, yeah, this new submissions tier of member is going to be $2 more than what you used to pay USD. And there's nothing I can do about that. This is Yeah, you actually can. You can do a lot of stuff. You just don't want to because it's going to hurt your bottom line. The only way... He's going to make like $5 less than he used to on the channel, man. That's bad. We can't have it go. To prevent an influx of fake, Ill illegitimate memberships... And that would now make it impossible for people's clips to get watched. It would be such a small chance. It's not fair, okay? So I have to do this. And I'm sorry. I don't want to do it. <clears throat> My hand is being forced. And here's the <laughs> other factor that's really... He's acting like there's absolutely no other way to do this. No other way. You guys just need to pay more. I I'm sorry, but nothing I could do. You just got to pay more. Important. This channel, the vast majority of income that it makes for me is memberships. I don't get what? much or any ad revenue on the videos on this channel because when we do this show, DSP versus the internet, those clips get claimed. What about tips and super chats, dude? You do the show live, right? You accept tips, right? You accept super chats, right? Almost. But yeah, this channel, it and it always gravitates to whatever he needs at the moment. If he needs uh, super chats, he's going to say, oh man, this channel, you guys know that this channel is all about the super chats. If there was no super chats, I wouldn't even do this channel because like, memberships is like what a hundred members like ad revenue i make no ad revenue and you guys know that these streams aren't very well supported with tips so that's why i need you to send super chats Every it's always whatever he needs at the moment this is what helps him out the most in general always single time there's always content from someone else that i get a third party claim can't monetize it anymore so really the only thing making this channel viable to operate is the member Fee, uh, fee that yeah. you guys pay. Yeah, except all the other things that make it viable. That's the income I get. So if all these people now, I lose these memberships, and if you guys don't rejoin, this channel is going to end up being more work 
than than any kind of income, and I, I'm not going to be able to keep doing it. <laughs> what about the classics channel? What about the throwback channel? It already is more work than it's worth. And I don't want that to happen. I want to keep doing DS. Yeah, that's also a, a a good point. What's to stop the trolls from buying their own Argentinian membership and becoming a member there? It's going to cost them, like, what, a dollar to give them an, a video that he must watch? Me versus the internet. I want to keep doing tier makers. I want to do food vlogging. Like I've been doing, like, you know, my wife makes food or we order food for, you know, you know feasting with You're going to film your wife make food so people can make fun of her cooking? You don't want to do that. Come on. But now he's just throwing out ideas to make you more, to encourage you to support. And once you support, he's going to find every single reason not to do the thing. Um, I like doing the reviews. I did a bunch of reviews for Halloween and a bunch for Christmas, and I want to do seasonal reviews. Hell, Fallout's coming out later this year, and I want to review that TV show. He was also complaining that the reviews don't get enough views, and he doesn't feel like making them if they don't make enough views. So I want. So you see, all these things he's bringing up right now, he's talked against for a long time. This channel, the Republic of Dave. It is the Republic of Dave, the United States of Phil, dude. To exist, but I can't keep operating it on no income. So I need your buy-in here. All right, what I'd like yep, to do. We need I'm the buy-in again right now, so you're all aware of what's going on. Please, let me know. Respond and let me know. Would Whoa, you... we got a we got a fat please as well. That was a juicy please. Please. Argentinian pesos are the hot new currency for terrorists around the globe. Yeah. Convert today. That's like the the Toyota trucks of ISIS. That's the equivalent to uh, DSP detractors in uh, Argentinian pesos. Get we the love membership them. tier. You're gonna lose whatever membership you had because it's not gonna exist anymore. Would you get the five ninety nine membership tier? Or, I mean, on the flip side of that, maybe you like the channel so much you would get the ultra member tier. That's not changing. Anyone here who's an ultra member, it's exactly the same. Yeah, that was already high enough. Are you fucking crazy? That's $20 to send a single video to somebody who might or might not watch it. He has to, but you never know. If it's a video he doesn't like, you just get skipped, man. That's never going to change. So he's going to pause the video, pretend like he's doing some quote-unquote commentary and just talk about himself for like two minutes and then skip the video so that you don't have to worry about but it really is the fact that i have like 90 plus standard members that are going to be lost and i need you all to convert over to this new submissions <laughs> member converting again in order to be troll free all right i hope most of you will make the shift i know when, when change comes a lot of people are resistant to it and a lot of people don't want to do it like this you is not a change i want nor a change that i i wish i, I could i wish i could avoid it um, it's the only way to keep the channel running. And what we're going to have to do is once this change happens, <laughs> see if it's viable. And if it doesn't work, if a bunch of people don't come over, then I don't know what's going to happen to this channel. And again, I don't want this channel to be defunct because of the actions of a bunch of malicious people. <laughs> this channel is going to be defunct, man. This is so fucking pathetic. All right. <laughs> so please consider oh, it. Shit. All right. Think about it. Two dollars more a month. But you get more this is so fucking embarrassing like dude at this point just get a fucking job just get a job like he's doing anything in his power he's putting in so much effort that he could have just invested in getting a job for it all right why not man you're sitting here making extremely important videos about memberships and people from argentina that mess up your whole business they're legitimately messing up a third of his whole business right now so I'm going to look just for your get a feedback. fucking job. We talk about this more on the podcast for the next day and likely later this week, probably on Wednesday, Thursday. -ish. Yeah, he, you bet your ass. He talks about this every fucking day. There's no way he doesn't talk about this every day. I wish he said, please, 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 please convince the dent heads. That, that's to get it to sink into their heads, right? Yeah, they, he should have every plug segment end up with 30 seconds of just saying, please. It, in this exact same way. I'm probably going to do this change. Um, I need to give you guys... It's like he's begging already. Why not just go all out? Just beg in the most entertaining way possible. That's the future. It's not even not begging. It's just beg in a Coming fun way. In strong with that it's only $5. $5 energy. I, I want to find that clip where he was uh, berating somebody in chat who said they couldn't afford to upgrade. It's time to submit. It's like, yeah, you can't afford two, two more dollars? Like two dollars. <laughs> yeah, you can't afford it, right? The clips for Sunday is like the entitlement, dude. Like, how? Who the fuck do you think you are? How important do you think you are? You're just a dude who is bad at playing video games, bad at having a podcast, and bad at reacting to videos. How much exactly do you think you fucking deserve? Show. 
So I need to do that change, you know, right away. So thank you for listening. Thank you for understanding. Yeah, you're welcome, bro. This uh, this was a segment that's way too long. So I want to go and check out one of the previous pre-streams, one of the last two days. So he had his day off, and then we're playing Infinite Well. Uh, oh, yeah, and he played um, the, the new viral hot game, Pal World. Which people loved, I guess. Even though he doesn't play the viral hot new games. But he did this one. Because, um, hypocrisy? I don't know. So this is, uh, hold on, I forgot to show you the update. Which I basically told you what the update is. He's gonna go and restructure the membership tiers. So the members who actually want him to react to a video they sent, they need to pay $2 extra. So it's like $5.99. Yeah, to a membership that was already way too expensive for the perks that it offers. Okay, so let's see. I think it's this pre-stream because it was right in the middle of the whole Argentina crisis, the Argentina missile crisis. And he was super stressed out about stuff and then he ends up having a huge fucking tantrum. And I think it was this one because he's wearing this weird blouse. You know, that channel in general, the videos only get around 300 views. So to get seven, 800 views, it means people watched it. And I go and I check and I only got maybe a couple comments that were that were actually like real feedback. You know, all the idiotic trolls comment, and yeah. you know their show, comments show up because they're idiots. So they just literally like yeah, to waste but, their life. They're that stupid. Yeah, but you you read them, Phil. That's the point of trolling is for the message to reach its destination, and it did. And now you're crying about it. I didn't even know these messages exist, and now I do, and I know that they bother you because you rant about them. I mean, just think about that. I have three channels, all of them are set up that YouTube auto sorts comments. So the moment that you post up something that's a swear or something, you know, fucked up, it blocks it. Okay. So your comments are not going to ever show up on the video. But they don't have to show up in the video. They have to show up uh, in your brain. Yet there's people who literally waste hours of their life posting up all these comments. They're that stupid. I mean, I don't know how much more brain dead you could prove yourself to be. Do you really? I was like, oh, well, Phil's making fun. No, I'm not. Do they really waste hours writing him YouTube comments? I, I'm not sure, dude. Making fun. Like, this is a legitimate observation. If you know that the comments are not just open to say whatever toxic thing you want, and you sit there spending hours posting up toxic <laughs> Hours? Comments, you are actually stupid. This dude spent hours posting on the super card forum, by the way. He spent 82 hours in two weeks playing the game like it was his job. And you have to guess a moment of self-awareness. And he was in his late 30s, by the way. Realize you could be doing anything else with your time, and it's better for you. Like, you could be wiping your ass, and it's more productive. You could pick your nose, and it's more productive. You know what I mean? Like, these people are that dumb. Maybe they they wrote the message while they were wiping their ass. It only takes one hand. Sometimes you can even write a message based on your voice commands. So anyway, um, like I said, I looked, and maybe there was a small handful of comments. And it was like, one person was like, absolutely, I'll upgrade. That's fine. And another person okay. was like, meh, I don't think I'm going to upgrade. And then I looked. And the person wasn't a member. It was a fucking idiot lying. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, all the good comments are people that agree with him and go off with the whatever scam he's doing now. And the bad comments are anybody who for any reason doesn't agree or think it's a good idea. Wait a minute. This person was never a member to begin with. So, what an asshole, right? So, anyway, I didn't really get much feedback. And that kind of sucks. I was actually hoping to get at least a few dozen people who would be like, oh, yeah, I'm a current member. And... You know, I'm either going to do it or not. Right now, I have no clue what's going to happen. And that makes me nervous. Well, because there there's go. two reasons why that makes me nervous. Reason number one is because I like DSP React. I okay. like the idea of having a channel where I can react to content. We can do a weekly show. I can do reviews. I can do food vlogs. I like having that channel. And that content would not fit here. You understand? It has to be kind of its own separate thing. But I have to justify the existence. Oh, thanks for uh, sending me the clip. I'll, I'll do it right after this time segment. And effort I put into that channel. So it has to at least make something. It can't. I can't just do it for free as a hobby. It has to at least generate some revenue. But Philip, you know, but Philip, like I just said, super chats, tips. We're acting like those don't even exist. Completely memory hole. Of a business. God damn. So basically, you know, I, I I'm nervous. And now he's nervous again. Change. It's like, dude, if you really like doing it as much, it wouldn't bother you if you made less money doing it, if you really had a passion for it. Because this just makes it seem like he's doing it because he's getting paid. 
and people are not going to understand. And then we're going to go from having 100 paid members down to like 20. And that's going to kill the channel, you know? Because this is the other half. That channel does make me a chunk, not a giant chunk, but a chunk of income every month, which makes it viable to do. And again, we, we talk about abstracts with a giant chunk, a chunk, an amount of money, nothing, words like that to muddy the waters so you can't even keep track of what's going on. All right. If... That but he he wants to get his overall message across and his overall message is I need more money on that channel and you yes you should give it to me otherwise uh, uh, I'm not gonna do it that income goes away because of this nonsense going on that I can't control or fix all right then I can't do the channel anymore I don't want to say goodbye to DSP reacts I love that channel I love doing content for it I wish I could do more but more people have said outright they want more gameplay than anything else. When I was doing more React stuff last year, I got complaints. So that's why I've limited how much I put on there. I don't want to see a year's worth of effort and time and your guys' viewership be m meaningless because of troll. What? You know. The, so the, the trolls are going to make that channel not meaningful. They're going to make his worth meaningless because he can't get paid the amount he wants to get paid. This, wow. Now we got a different definition of meaning. Meaning is whatever gets me the most money. And also, that whole year's worth of stuff is not going to become meaningless. You just want to quit and not make any more. But I mean, I want to take the power out of the hands of the trolls. But I can't do it. You can. By letting me know that, you know, you understand what's going on and that you're going to go and, and still support the channel. Yeah, of course. Know? As always. When we hit the wall, it's all in your guys' hands, man. My future is in your hands. You don't want me to go away. You don't want me to stop streaming on the channel. If I go away, who's going to react to all the, uh, those meaningful videos about Singapore? Or those meaningful videos about food? Or those meaningful videos about the food in Singapore? Come on. Think of all the casualties. Think of all the starving children in Singapore whose videos I'm not going to watch. So hopefully that's what will happen. You know, I guess we'll see. But basically, I think what I'm going to do, it's either tonight or tomorrow, likely tomorrow. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to sit down well and sweet for 10 months. the standard and super member tiers. Okay, I'm going to skip this because he doesn't end up doing that. So he's not canceling anything. Life. I don't tell you guys. Like I said, they try. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is this is a good one. I've seen this. Second, because I want to let you know very matter-of-factly where I am right now in January because it ain't good because of all this going on. It ain't good. But that's the thing. People look. And usually uh, he's told us many times that the ad revenue during January is low as it is. And now, man, he, he's bringing up figures like, what was it? 34%? 34% of his income is down, you guys. That, that specific income, by the way, the, the one for memberships. Looking at the channel, and I was tracking memberships, and they're like, <clears throat> whoa, Phil has like over a thousand members. He's doing super good this month. That's great. And that means I don't have to su help support this month because he's already doing it. I was so 37. Good. It was the opposite. But I didn't even know that until I figured out what was really going on. And it's like, well, then I got to tell everyone, right? So then I tell everyone, oh, why'd you talk about the trolls? What are you, what are you stupid? Because you have to. When they're directly affecting something public, you have to explain. If it's anything else that doesn't affect the stream that you don't, it's in my private life. I don't tell you guys. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't really affect the public though. How am I affected in any kind of way by DSB having a thousand members, but making money for about like 300 of them? Why do I actually fucking care? I said they try it. All He's trying so hard to convince you that you should actually care about this. And this heavily concerns you heavily, strongly all the time to do that shit. And now we deflect into being a victim. And I just ignore it and I don't tell you guys about it. It's only when it directly affects you guys publicly that you need to know about it. All right? It affects right. you guys. As in, you need to pay more now. So. Well, I guess it does affect them because they need to pay more now. That's coming. Basically, what I will do is uh, coming up tomorrow, likely, I'm probably going to cancel those membership levels on DSP Reacts, create the new ones. Hopefully what'll happen is people will join and then I can set up the threads by say the weekend. People can, you know, nominate the new clips for the show and we can get a good show going on Sunday. Okay? We'll see what happens, I guess. Um now while all this is going on, <clears throat> DSP throwback is actually doing quite well. Really? 
just so you guys know, you know, on Sunday night, I had my first ever stream on the channel, which was me commentating over the Red Dead 2010 playthrough. <laughs> People loved it. They, they did? Supported it. They said, and, what? They did? Hold on. Here, I'm, I'm getting gaslit in real time. There's no way people liked it. Those streams got like 20 views. Hold on. DSP throwback. Uh, yeah, we got getting deputized and tons of new content. So this got 115 views in 10 hours and it got four upvotes. I don't think people are loving it, to be honest. And it got zero he comments. He doesn't want to talk about it. Well, he doesn't want to, but he wants to. Of course he wants to. Otherwise, he would have just figured it out behind the scenes and just announced, this is what I'm doing. Instead of this whole thing that took him hours upon hours of figuring out live on stream, wasting everybody's time. Uh, so far, it's actually doing well. Right now on that channel, we have the Final Fantasy 13 playthrough and the Red Dead playthrough uploading. And it's all... Yeah, this is definitely getting skipped. Where's the toxic as fuck segment? Will for Shadowheart. At this point now, not with me, we would talk such as Tekken 8 multiplayer. Oh, this fucking... The, he's doing the Super Bowl event again. Uh, I've seen people tagging NFL on Twitter, <laughs> making them aware of DSP using the Super Bowl name without having rights to it. As you know, that's severe violation of copyright. And I'm sure the NFL are going to nuke him out of orbit. Of course, not going to happen. But it's really interesting. This dude who is so outspoken about corporations and how corporations, they don't give a fuck about you. They just want to monetize something that you love so they can make more money out of it. This dude doesn't give a fuck about American football. Not, not one bit. He can't name a single player that's playing there right now. I don't even know if he can name any team. But he's having a Super Bowl-themed event where I, I guess you're not allowed to talk about football if you like it because you're gonna he's going to feel left out. Maybe go back to Street Fighter 6 multiplayer for a bit. Yeah, you Maybe see? Modern Warfare multiplayer. He cares about it now, dude, because he can make an event out of it. I want you guys to have good content all year long, not only inflated and boosted so I can get extra dough for it. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait, wait. What is this? And then I, I'm sure he's going to transition to shitting on other streamers that do that. Like me, who's consistent. You know, all the ad revenue has gone. Like, no exaggeration, you go from insanely high ad revenue to, like, nearly nothing. Yeah, right? this is January for So it for ends up him. happening for someone like me who's consistent. You know, I'm not one of the people who I put all my best content in the last three months of the year and pump out five times more videos to make extra money. I consistently put out content all year long because I treat it like a real job. Really? And I want you guys to have good content all year long, not only inflated and boosted so I can get extra dough for it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of YouTubers do that. I don't. Yeah, but even if you did, you wouldn't get extra dough for it because your videos get like 300 views. How much extra are you going to get? It's going to get to 500 views? Come on, dude. Come on. And then talking about treating this as a job. Yesterday, he, uh, I think on the night stream, he was like off camera for like 10 minutes straight, I think, at some point. He was just getting up, leaving, coming back, leaving. It's like, yeah, that's you don't do that at work, do you? I don't know. I think he's forgotten about what it feels like to be at work. So what ends up happening is a month like January. For me, it's business as usual. I'm putting out content. I'm having fun. And in general, you guys have been equally as supportive this month as you always are. You know, tip level is great. You know, people are supporting the Baldur's Gate 3 streams. Um, and in general, overall, all that's great. You know, Super Chats, no real complaints. They're not down or anything this month. Things are going good. But what's ended up happening this month, it's a combination of factors. Number one, I'm always down in January because of the ad revenue. So that little bit of ad revenue that I do get, not to say that it's like insane amounts of money, but still, I usually have it, and this month I don't have it. Now normally, you'd be like, okay, so it's kind of tight in January, that's okay. The problem now is this memberships thing. Oh my okay? god, we're back on this. It's not even like, what, how, how much? 20 minutes later, after talking about it extensively for the first time, we're talking about it again. Is he gonna recap what the membership thing actually is? To pad out some more time? So to give you guys some perspective. Yeah, literally. Literally, we got a recap. I'm literally going to pull up stats for you right now. <laughs> to let you know what I'm talking about. Because I want people to understand what I mean when I talk about Yeah, he's going to pull up stats. Let's see some cropped screenshot, Phil. Okay. So to give you some perspective. All right. This month. The month of January. <clears throat> all right. We have received. Just listen to this. 
1300. Wait, wait, wait. I, I thought I was going to be able to see those stats, Phil. Um, you, That's not how showing evidence works. If I have to just trust you to read something. New memberships. On top of the existing... I wouldn't even trust him with reading a blank piece of paper, dude. Memberships that we had. Alright. He certainly is consistent. Consistently trash. Well, you know what? I, I think there's quite a few of his fans that just watch him because he's there. And they put him in the background and don't even, like, care about what he's saying. They just like enjoying his droning voice for, like, two hours during the podcast. Because, you know, for a fact, he's going to be there almost every day of the week. If you want something trash to listen to in the background, you can put him up and just not care about anything he says. Uh, I mean, if you're like a DSP fan. And uh, that would explain why he has like 300 viewers on a stream and he would have like six people texting in chat. So yeah, it does make sense. So in total, right now, this channel currently has... 1,655 memberships. Okay. That's good for yeah. everybody who gets to enjoy them. But it's a bad thing. But if you actually do the math on how many of those are legit and I'm actually getting paid for, all right, it's only around 500. Hold on, Phil. He said he was literally going to pull up the stats, and then he read the total amount of members, and then he just started making up numbers that are not on the stats sheet that he just pulled up. Well, we don't get to see it, but he's looking at the camera. He's not reading anywhere. Now, So the stats are, again, a made-up number that he concocted somewhere, somehow, using some kind of math. Last month, I had over 800, and those were all legit. All right? This shit ain't nothing to me, man. I'm nice with it. My money long, my pockets deep. No pocket watching in these parts. We straight glove, cut in straight to the bricks. Chanel optics got me seeing shit. Detroit till I die. Yeah, we smoking filter crack, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> that one is so funny, man. I have no sympathy. I, I have no sympathy. So the funny part about this whole thing is, spikes. on paper, it looks like I'm doing so much better. And in reality, I'm doing way worse. Oh, fact, no. You know, looking at the statistics here, I'm staring at it. It says <laughs> revenue that you made on memberships now versus last month. Okay. No exaggeration. It claims that I have lost money. <laughs> this is just a, such a funny delivery, man. No exaggeration. It claims that I've lost money what else are you gonna lose <laughs> i guess hair that's that's been happening you know last month i i had a certain amount and it says here about 37 percent no you 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 didn't lose money you're just making less now that's not losing it you didn't have it and then it's gone you're just making less now which is something that happens to a business sometimes especially a bad business like burnell productions Excuse me, Burnell Enterprises? Was that it? DSP Enterprises. Ah, yes, correct. Decrease in the money that I would make on memberships, right? Now, why have I lost 37% of my revenue on memberships? Because of the trolls. Oh, and this is yes. bullshit. They shouldn't have that kind of power on the channel, and they just do. And there's nothing that I can do to fix All that. Alert. Unrelated, but have you seen Della? Yes. A mix of wings and DSP. All them clip comps churning out factory style. It's like a golden age. Big ups. Yeah, he, he's got some great he quotables. Genius mathematician Scott Steiner. Oh, yeah. Well, well the thing is, Scott Steiner was actually 100% correct in all his number crunching. He, he was just correct. And he was also correct that Samoa Joe is fat. He's fat! He is fat. Um, so, yeah, I've seen Delor. De Delor? De Delor. Delor. Uh, and, uh, he's got some, some great sound clips. Uninstall! Okay. Um, I went from a situation where this channel was strong and doing really well in December and people were not only becoming members, but gifting memberships to the community. And there was this feeling of awesome support all around for the holidays, right? <laughs> and then in the last week and a half, it's actually weeks, the crazy ass segment. Have been given. The fake memberships. The memberships are real, by the way. If you've been given one, you can enjoy the full range of benefits that Burnell Productions offers.
but he's going to call them fake because it doesn't fucking matter what you get. It doesn't matter how you feel. Your chat crown on, and your uh, nice little color name in the chat, that doesn't fucking matter. Now, all that's gone away because no one's going to become a member if they're getting a gifted membership and no one's going to renew their membership if they're getting a gifted membership, right? So basically what's happened is literally only a very small handful of people are becoming members now. And uh, day one when this was happening, this doesn't bother me. This doesn't affect me at all. And now it affects them to a crippling extent. So, and this is just now, we still have over a week left in the month, right? So if within two weeks, I'm down 37% revenue. Can you imagine another week? I might be down 50, 60% revenue from yeah. this month. And God willing, you're going to be down 100. Memberships are a good chunk <laughs> of the revenue I make on DSP Gaming. But the dude, get the fuck out of here. A good chunk of the revenue. What about all the other chunks? All the other really good chunks? They don't get mentioned. Okay. This that's fucking awful. bitch. And that's, again, that's not, oh, the ad revenue's down and that's going to come back. That's, trolls have broken YouTube. <laughs> this is so good, man. This dude is so baffled by regional pricing. It actually changed his life. It's no longer the season. Well, it, that also is true. It's no longer the season. People can't support the way they were during Christmas times because they fucking broke now. They spend a bunch of money for stuff during Christmas. Like me. And I can't fix that. Okay? So, basically what, I, what I'd like to say here is thank you guys because everything else you've been doing. Super chats, tips, engaging in the streams and everything has been great but this memberships thing potentially is going to hurt me bad now at the same time that's going on keep in mind i have to now change all the memberships on dsp reacts right <laughs> so now what happens if i do that and half the people don't become members over there so now not only am i down 37 percent revenue on this channel now i lose the revenue on that channel too now what am i going to do that's the situation I'm in right now, so I don't feel good. I feel very nervous, and I feel shitty. There we and go. Again, very nice. Something that I can fix. This is a problem that YouTube has, and trolls have exploited. So this, I wouldn't say that's a problem at all. What can you do? All I can say is, because I mean, like, even if you, even if it was like a platform issue, and everybody was suffering from this, I don't think ninety percent, even ninety-five percent of people would have all that much against it anyways because your your channel your fans your viewers are actually getting the benefit Chief. but this dude this dude that counts every single penny but because he fucking spends it all in advance this dude it bothers him the most check out the content and please support it you know one thing you could say as well there are new games coming out friday you're right i have to buy them so that's even more money invested right but hopefully people will come out and support the new games. I really hope they will. I hope you guys will show up for those playthroughs and, and support those streams, right? If you do, then maybe this isn't a problem. If for the next, if the last week of the there month we go. ends up actually- If you give me a lot of money during this week, it's actually not a problem. You're gonna negate the negativity, but I'll be complaining about it until the end of time, regardless. Being a really great one and everyone's supportive and the streams do well, then it's not a big deal, right? But that's kind of a big if Hail Mary hoping Right. Uh -huh. As opposed to something more that ends up, if you have noticed, a lot of his business plans end up with just hoping and coping. That's the Burnell Productions uh, strategy It's just hoping and coping. I'm hoping somebody's going to give me money so I can pay my bills. Consistent. Like, I'm that's that's the actual mission statement for the channel. I'm just hoping you, you're going to give me some money. OK, nervous right now. I'm looking at the at what it says DSP Gaming made the last month versus this month. It's down an insane amount. Like I said, about 37% decrease in revenue on the channel. That's terrible, you know? Imagine doing the same work you did last month, and everyone's telling you everything you're doing is great, and then you get paid. And he wants VPNs criminalized, lol. Full North Korea. That's the thing. He doesn't even want VPNs criminalized. He wants YouTube to make the, every membership all around the globe to be the same price in United States dollars, right? But what that's going to do is people from less developed countries is just the memberships just not going to be affordable for them anymore. So they're going to end up buying less memberships. So YouTube is actually going to le make less money than what they are making right now. And they have no interest in making less money. You get paid just like Phil. First Phil solves global banking, then the Mideast. 
Well, we can send him there. He can try. He can get them all to, to sit down at a table and be like, okay, so now what, what's the thing here? I'm hearing some negativity. What's with the negativity? What's with the toxicity? And he's going to employ the, the tried and true method of DS positive and fix it. We should just send him there. Only 60% of the money you made last month. Your paycheck's way less. What happened? Oh, well, some trolls fucked with us, so we can't pay you this month. Fucked with us? As far as I know, they fucked with you. Everybody else got the benefit. It's almost like a positivity trolling, where you give people so many benefits that it pisses them off. What? <laughs> That's my life right now. It's like, how is that fair? I don't know. How is it fair that you get to sit on your ass and feel entitled for money every day and get it? That's not fair, if you ask me. So this is not really about fairness, is it, Phil? So, um, what can be done? Well, nothing that I can do. There's nothing I can do to fix the situation. If you like my content, please support it in some way. All right, legitimately. Legitimately become a member. Legitimately give some memberships to someone um, to help the community. Uh, but do super chats, super thanks. If you watch this podcast on demand, every oh day, my god, he rem he remembered that super thanks actually exists. And I know many, of dude. I remember he was so horny for super thanks. He was twerking for super thanks, like he was just there, being like, Susan, leave the ham sandwich and make the super thanks work. And then they worked, and then he got like twenty dollars or something, and then he forgot about talking about him ever again. Because it didn't make him the money he expected. Just like with the membership, not the membership, with the shorts. When you first were able to monetize shorts, he had a bunch of them ready to go so he can make money off of them. And then he saw that he was making actual pennies. He was making less than the Argentinian memberships are worth. And he completely gave up. When was the last short that he did? And keep in mind, uh, this was a Deadly Premonition wow. DSP Classic. So this is from one month ago you see what i mean and with the shorts he wasn't even making them somebody else was making them for him and he decided it's just not worth his time dragging the file onto youtube and uploading it wasn't worth it many of you do do a super thanks i almost never get any super thanks on my videos like it's insanely rare i'll get one or two a month tops across all three of my channels does does anyone make money with shorts? Uh, I'm sure the ones that get like 10 million views do. And that's kind of why they're even available to be monetized in the first place. Because most people, they, they don't get much views on his shorts. Uh, but some people get like tens of millions. So, if you're someone who watches all the content on demand, if you're a longtime viewer, please consider now helping to support because I really need the help right now. I'm down a third because of this trolling bullshit. Okay? Um... But outside of that, that's about it. That's all I can say. Support the streams. And if you're an on-demand viewer, please consider a super thanks or a tip. You'll see in the description of every video I upload the tips link. You could still tip whether you're on a stream or not. You know? Wow, it's so good. I for you to tip or anything like yeah. that. That would help a ton. Okay? So thank Which you. stop the ARG dollar? You think YouTube will? Well, I don't know, man. Like I said, it's going to make it less profitable from, you know, those lesser developed countries or countries that are financially struggling. Because... If you ask your regular Argentinian amigo to pay like $4.99 or $3.99 just to, to get a chat crown badge and shit like that and some emotes, they probably wouldn't want to. And I, again, I don't like bringing this shit up, but I have to. This is my livelihood. What can I do to fix it? Nothing. I didn't create the situation because I don't work at YouTube, right? I can't fix the situation because I don't work at YouTube. And I'm not a piece of shit troll who thinks it's funny, you know? But it is funny. Because he's mad. And like I said, this is actually looking at it objectively. It's a good thing. Because the thing that he begs for so long is for everybody in his chat to be a member. It actually fucking happened. It actually happened. But he's super pissed off about it now. Again, what these idiots don't realize, right? They like the content so much that I make because they want to make fun of it, right? Great, so make fun of it. But when you hurt my livelihood doing this shit, now you... you have basically made it harder for me to keep doing this. If you okay. think that the throwback channel is funny and the react channel is funny and the stuff I do on this channel is a comedy, you know, riot. Why? Are I wonder how much money his upscalers are losing thinking face. Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know. I guess uh, we'll see in the next couple months. Are you hindering my ability to make the content? 
Uh, Cause I don't give a fuck, Phil. In reality, I actually don't give a fuck. Cause you have way more at stake than I do, and I'm willing to take a hit. If he's gone, I'm just not gonna stream, or I'm gonna stream whatever else I feel like to, or I'll just stream games, or just not do anything, or I can watch DSP from a thousand years ago, and it's gonna feel like it's the first time. So yeah, I'm willing to take the hit, Phil. Are you? What you're doing is counterproductive. It makes no fucking sense. It just proves you're an idiot, right? So it sucks, but you know what can you do? I, again, I wish I could fix it. I can't. You know why am I bringing it up? Cause this is real life shit that's affecting it's real this stream trap shit. And everything I do on YouTube. This is not some dumb troll behind the scenes and I can ignore it. This is something that's directly affecting everything publicly, and it sucks. How is it <clears throat> affecting everything? It's only affecting him. I guess the most you can say is that it's affecting the way that the React channel works, but that's easily fixable. Even though it's a bad fix, and it's it's definitely not going to work long term. Okay, so please consider. What's funny is then Shuriken says, of course he's worried. That's thousands. We are sitting through a DSP shareholder meeting. Yeah, this is, I mean, a, as close as you can get to that, man. As close as you can get. And we've seen a lot of those for all kinds of different reasons. The, the latest one I remember is about him talking about how um, he wanted to improve his thumbnails. So he was basically focus testing a bunch of new thumbnails. And he gave us like three, uh, three different designs that were pretty much the same design. But one of them have a frame in the middle and the other ones don't have a frame in the middle. So it was like, okay, do you like this one more or this one more? And then he looks at chat. Oh, well, people can't seem to agree. So like, how, how do I even know what's going to work? And this went on for like 45 minutes. ...of dollars a year. Zen Shuriken, that's thousands of dollars a month. <laughs> Even million. A month. That's what I mean. I just said I'm down 33, 37%. Yeah, but bro, you usually average around like 500 members, which is, you know, kind of the normal thing for DSP. I don't know why he feels entitled to a thousand members. And that makes him be down thousands of dollars. That The math doesn't check out on this. Because he's still making the money for about like 300, 500 members, which is his realistic amount of members. I don't know why he's he's talking about it as if he's supposed to get a thousand. That's thousands of dollars that I need to pay my bills that I'm not making now because of this idiot. Okay? Because <clears throat> you, were, you were never supposed to be making them in the first place. So, God damn again. it. Because he's pretending like those member bombs are actually in reality would have been different member bombs from somebody that would have paid the full price so he's looking at this as if he should in reality have a thousand members but a lot of those are fake but they would have been real if it wasn't for that troll when you kind of don't know that probably wouldn't have even happened thank you to anyone who like so this this his logic entirely is just so flawed man it's just so wrong on so many levels it's the content and supports it in any way Please consider it, all right? And then you get an idiot like this guy, Stimpy. That's your problem, not ours. R Absolutely, yeah, that's your problem. Wrong. You're the one here watching the content. I don't have to. I won't be here making content anymore if this continues. Good. You dumb idiot. Oh, and now he's calling his chat dumb idiots. The person whose problem it is. It's your problem, you dumb idiot. Now pay me $2 more a month for the same perks, you dumb idiot. That's the point I'm making. I'm not some rich YouTuber rolling in money that I can take this. He deserves it for being <laughs> smug and mean for years. Oh, yeah. As as, as usual, it, it couldn't happen to a nicer guy, really. And he's showing me exactly why he deserves it in this very segment. Hit, you fucking idiotic brain dead moron leaving a dumb comment in a chat and acting like you know what you're talking about. All right. I'm a normal guy like you. When I Crazy shit. Crazy stats. And uh, yeah, it's true. He's in the top 10 earners in the U.S. And he's probably in the top 10 worldwide, too. I lose thousands of dollars. And But but he's trying to make it like he's just like you. Well, I don't really know how he's just like you when, you know, things work a lot differently than him. In a month, it fucks me up. All right? So that's why I can't have this happen. I need people to hopefully do something to help me in this case. You know, this next week, all these like new games what? coming out. Please support these streams. Yeah, so basically, dude, this is like, wow. This, you could even say this is the ultimate DSP segment uh, the in the last like five minutes. Because we go from, I'm a little pathetic pig roach and I need your help. Then somebody triggers him and he goes all full on toxic, full on piece of shit.
Then he says he's just like you, further the showing that he's completely out of touch with reality and how your ordinary normal person lives and insults that guy who is apparently a fan of his and then we beg for money again and we say we need help ultimate dsp this is his final form <clears throat> this is all in the span of like five minutes okay how much is 37 percent it's about a third, roughly. A third of my income has gone away this month compared to the last several no, months. No, 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 no. A third of my income is gone because of this trolling nonsense. No, that's not... Nope. You see how it makes it seem? A third of my income. He's just talking about memberships. He's trying to make it seem like a third of his overall income has gone away. So you can feel bad about him even more. So we, we're just straight up lying. Straight up lying. Yeah. Like I said, like, no one is becoming a member. That's the problem. It's like, normally, every day I get memberships. Every day I got new members, and I get people who gift memberships. Yeah, that's exactly true. You can't lose money you never had. Those memberships, they didn't fucking exist. To the community. Now, no one is re-upping their memberships, and no one is gifting legit memberships. It's very small. There's a few people who are doing it, and thank you to those who are. But it's gone away, and that's revenue I rely on. <clears throat> All right, so that's it. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Oh, I don't. Crazy. Can lose thousands in income a month. He ain't us. Yeah, well, he ain't. I guess he ain't. And he can get that thousands back just for asking people on the internet for money. I don't think that this is how your regular person works, Phil. It sickens me to have to fucking waste time talking about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, Are we going to get an analogy? So, let's just move on positively. All right, let's get out of this topic. Imagine you had a, a sandwich shop, okay? And then some damn dirty Spanish-speaking terrorist runs their car into it. Well, that's exactly what's happening to me. And hopefully just kind of relax and have some conversation today and not have to worry about this so much. I don't. I, I, it's always on my mind, this shit. And yeah, it weighs heavily upon my mind. It absolutely does. But I don't want to be sitting here talking about it all fucking day. It just pisses me off. You know? It shouldn't be like this. Someone like me who's been working his ass off for all these years shouldn't be at the mercy yet again yep. of YouTube being lazy. No, no, no. You're at the mercy of everybody watching you, Philip. That's that's whose mercy you're on. Because if one minute man decides one day he's going to bounce and he's going to spend his daily $20 on a hooker instead, you're left out with a big chunk of money missing that you're already entitled to and used to getting. You're on the mercy of everybody watching. Those people you call mouth droolers and idiots, you're at their mercy. And that's because you never developed your business. You never graduated and leveled up from level one. And matter of fact, you own up being a loser like it's a badge of pride. Well, you get to wear that badge, Phil. Don't be salty at everybody else. And not doing their fucking jobs as a business. And basically... And again, Twitch... Twitch had a problem, they were too woke. Twitch had a problem, their chat sucked, or whatever the fuck was wrong. They were wrong at this, they were wrong at that, they were wrong with the bitrate, they were wrong with the this and the that. We come to YouTube, YouTube is great. YouTube sucks now. YouTube, give me gifted memberships. You got them, Phil. YouTube, give me monetized shorts. You got it, Phil. YouTube, give me super thanks. You got it, Phil. We're still bitching. We're still bitching. Still no solution to the YouTube problem. Alert. One third of one third is 11%. 11% of unrealized gains IA $0. Hey, there we go. That's some quick math. Very quick even. I would pay to see him explain what else he would be doing when he says, I won't be here anymore you fake and I died. It always ends at no more content. Yeah, yeah. It's always like when, when he got um, cornered with the copyright strikes that he convinced himself were from wing strolls, which I think to this day we still don't know where they come from. He was talking about, he was on his knees. He owned up to being a lol cow and he was pleading for people. It's like, if I'm, if you have nobody to make fun of, like, what, what are you going to do? I'll be gone. You can't make fun of me anymore. And also everybody knows that even if they take him off YouTube and Twitch and kick, he's going to be on a random dead end platform somewhere. It's still panhandling and still not getting a job. So, like, th this idea that once he gets kicked off, there's no more content and he's going to be forced to get a real job, this is a fantasy. This is just as much of a fantasy as uh, DSP Gaming returning back to prominence. Fucking everything up and having giant loot Now I'm going to be honest and transparent. 
Imagine you're a streamer okay? And you begged for tips to play champions okay? And now you have less money for pulls you see? This situation is exactly like that. You know what? It, it kind of makes sense. Now it actually makes a lot more sense than uh, watching the entirety of this level 1 podcast actually. I learned quite a bit. Picture him laying in bed seething 3 a.m. no member. Yeah, that would be that would be great, man. I'm I'm sure he, he usually doesn't just lay in bed seething. I think when Cat goes to bed, he sits on um he sits on the couch, he watches some TV, playing some champions, drinking, definitely drinking. And when he when he feels ready to bed, he goes to bed uh already like drunk off his ass. That's why he looks so crispy in the morning and being you know stupid but once again here we are again with youtube not doing their fucking jobs and now i have to suffer for it so it's just life you know at this point it's just an inevitability if you want to be a content creator you're at the mercy of the ineptitude of the yeah. system that you uh, use to that's why you shouldn't make it your job because you are always at the mercy of some random platform and that's not good and if you make it your job make sure you network and you uh, do work with brands and other stuff and you develop your own brand because that's what he didn't do and that's why he's at everybody's mercy put your content big ups uh div hour for the 126 super chat with the crying face this is very crying on the internet you is very that. sad they always have been i've told you guys this so many times 15 years Every change they make to this site fucks it up, and then they have to fix it after the fact. They have no true beta testing of anything. They just hard launch and fuck the whole site up. <clears throat> he has no idea what he's talking They're about. They're never by the way. aware of these. Oh, speaking of which, nowadays you got this new thing in chat. When you click on somebody's name, you can go to their channel or view their channel activity. So you can see how many timeouts, deleted messages, their previous chat messages. So this is gonna make his uh, moderation a lot easier. Uh, but you can only do this, I assume, if you're uh, a mod. Blue poles, they're never aware of these problems. I told you the story. Two years ago, I discovered an actual legitimate site-breaking bug that if that bug was not fixed, it could have destroyed YouTube. Okay? What was it? I contacted YouTube support. I explained it. I gave them step-by-step -step instructions of how to replicate it. Screenshots, everything. And the person that I was talking to argued with me that I was not right or that- Bro, what was it? I said, I had to plead with them. I was like, please, for all that is holy and good, please trust me. I've been doing oh this for God. 15 years. I wouldn't waste your time. I want this business to continue. Yeah, he was doing this for 15 years, but when uh, when YouTube support told him about regional pricing, he didn't think it was a worthy answer. He wasn't willing to accept it. Here's the evidence. Please forward this to the appropriate parties. So all that happened, they responded with a form letter response, closed the log, and then about two months later, I figured it out, they, they fixed it. So they did listen to me. No, but, they probably, probably nobody actually gave a fuck about what you had to say. Probably, that's, that's the likelihood. Even if he was right, they probably didn't give a fuck. But they ignored me and fought with me over it before they would- So yeah, big guy says in chat, the issue was apparently you can make 100 YouTube accounts for each Google account you had. So how would this destroy YouTube exactly? So you can you can make sock accounts easier. Nowadays you can make sock accounts easy too. Consider you know putting it up the chain and having someone smart look at it, and the person who eventually got it in their hands said, "Oh shit!" and fixed it, and now that loophole's closed. You see, but YouTube doesn't listen. I'm sure. To me. I try. You know, how many times can I fight with them over these things? You know, I don't have that power anymore. <clears throat> Perhaps if big YouTubers stood up and teamed up about this and said, hey, let's do content and let's talk about this. Let's put it out in a vlog so everyone knows this is a problem on YouTube. Then it would be fixed. I don't have that power anymore. At well, one point I bad. did. But what ended up happening was all these idiots on the internet made me into the internet meme, the internet joke. and the Oh, this is it. This is the lol cow segment. Oh, it's great. I'm so happy. Internet whipping boy. Yeah, they made him the whipping boy on the internet. They turned him into a gimp. And you know what? I actually fucking agree. He's exactly a fucking gimp. Please, please, button. Look at this. He should dress up like this for streams. At $200, you guys have unlocked the gimp suit. This is how he should look. <laughs> and this would fit really good with the new theme of the React channel having a membership level that's called the submission level. This dude, it fits right in.
He he loves submission. Uh, anyways, big up to Lord Kane. Smash the please, please, please. Sure. I will do that just for you. Please, please, please. Talk about my wife. There you go. So when you made a lol cow out of me, you took my power away to help with these issues. And uh, you see, he admits to being a lol cow. It's a very roundabout way, but he does admit to being a lol cow. That I discovered. Congrats. I hope you think it was worth it that YouTube is broken because, you know, <laughs> should here you his go. Own website and then he could just code whatever bull unicorn feature he wants while pointing at a subscriber counter. <laughs> that would be great, but you know that that, that side will always be DDoS. Always. It would be 24-7 DDoS. And it's, it's just not going to go well. It's definitely not going to go well. But of course, that is the final frontier, is if he gets kicked off of every single website on the planet, he can stream on DSP Gaming. Go now, right? Is your, whose fault is that? I would love to help. I can't. You took the power out of my hands for your own jollies and laughs, right? So I can't do anything about it. People need to step up and help who actually have a voice. I don't the troll, have a voice, <laughs> the, right? the trolls took away his power, man. That's so fucking pathetic to say. Right? <laughs> They took away his power by turning him into a lol cow. Oh, this is such like... Was, how, how do you even believe this guy? He's so full of shit. The bug I discovered? Well, I'm not going to fully tell you, but basically there was a way that people could make uh, dummy accounts. Okay. That they can now. They're doing it constantly. You would know firsthand, Philip, you idiot. That's all I'm going to say. Like, basically, if people found a giant loophole of making dummy accounts on YouTube, and it could ruin the entire site the way that they did it. Like, it was creating a big problem um, for everyone. Like, it, it literally could have broken channels and everything the way that it was set up. So, <clears throat> I showed it. Something, something they actually fixed is the sex bots. I don't get any sex bots in my chat anymore. It, it's almost suspicious. It makes me feel that one day they're going to be unleashed, and my chat is going to be filled with sex bots everything and then they fixed it so <clears throat> anyway uh that's that let's move on shall we let's not dwell on this nonsense let's start talking about a lot of other stuff right <laughs> okay um well i was gonna say let's do shout outs but we literally don't have any youtube site shout outs at all no super chats no memberships nothing there um checking on tips currently okay first tip of the day is this worth watching? Is One Minute Man. Oh, the probably not. The $20 tip, he says, consider using Halson for Act 2. Consider shutting the fuck up, One Minute Man. I liked you more when you were quiet. All right. So, guys, that's all we got for now. Uh, let's what? Let's open up Q&A here. Wait. If any contributions come in, I'll shout Wait, them out. Wait, what? what? Legitimately, after an hour, exactly an hour worth of crying and pleading and bitching, all he got is the One Minute Man 20? Not even like a pity tip of like a dollar. Somebody saying, "Yeah, I, I feel bad for you, Phil." Well, let's open. Not up even the that. Q &A if oh wants. man, the begging isn't nowhere near what it used to result in in the past. Because he would do an actual hardcore begging segment, and people would just shower him with money. Tevin as Thanos, and this is how you don't play and other things as the gems. And him saying, "I am inevitable," and Phil becomes a lolco instantly. Uh, I guess that's um, might have been what it really happened, you know. If people really turned him into a lol cow, they might have just assembled all the gems and then crushed them. Who wants to talk? Just tag me in the chat. Let's see what you guys want to chat about before we get started. I didn't ban anyone. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I guess, I guess if you're looking for the exact time he became a lol cow, uh, I don't know. I don't know. For the mainstream audience, you can definitely say the 1st of May 2016 because that's when he jerked off. But for the rest of the people, I'm not exactly sure. If you have to pinpoint one moment, would it be the, the this is how you don't play? Would it be the the blip TV racism, you know, the hello Jude stuff? Very interesting. Well, I was updating the leaderboard. And I know uh, most people are going to say he was always a lol cow and he was definitely an asshole in the FGC and he was somebody people were avoiding and just making joke on his back and he didn't understand. But if you have to pinpoint one moment, People were all doing the, the ban emo. I didn't ban anybody. <clears throat> Did I play the original Duke Nukem? Can we start troll cows? Because that's because they're the real. Oh, yeah. This is it. Hold on. But the original Duke Nukem is not what you think. 
<laughs> Can we start calling trolls troll cows because they're the real lol cows? No, that's a very stupid boomer thing you can do. That's like uh, calling them kiwi farts. Remember when he decided to start to start calling the kiwi farmers kiwi farts? And then he got his whole shit leaked like a week later. And then he stopped calling them kiwi farts. Uh, actually, that's interesting. <laughs> that's an interesting name. Has anyone termed that name yet? Troll cows? Cause that's no, because exactly it doesn't. Because what are you milking them for? What are you milking them for? Memberships? Because we are milking you for laughs, my guy. In entertainment. What are you milking us for? They're the attention, I guess. If, if he enjoys it so much, then he should do more stuff that the trolls like. They're the real fucking clowns to be milked, right? <clears throat> Not me. I just sit here fucking playing games. Like, we were at, we had literally no drama, nothing going on whatsoever. We were fine. And then someone finds a fucking loophole in YouTube and creates chaos, right? So it's like, you're the joke. Everything here. Really? The reason that, that you're getting anything out of me is because you're the one fucking everything up for everybody. But wait, wait. I, I didn't send those people to do it. None of you guys in chat send anybody to do it. It just fucking happened. Some guy decided to do it and then they did it. Like most of the trolling he gets. He's, he's like acting like it, this is all a coordinated attack on his channel when it's just likely just a couple of people. Buddy, you're the loser. I didn't make a mistake. Here, you want to make fun of me? Make fun of me in Street Fighter. I'm swearing to people. But Phil, dude, how long is it going to take him to realize that you don't get to determine what people make fun of you for? You don't get to pick and choose the things that don't upset you and allow people to make fun of you for them. People are just going to make fun of whatever they feel like it's funny. Fine. That's legit. Make That's the lol cow crap you get out of me, right? I freak uh, out playing a... He's lost all subtlety. He's pig nosing too close to the sun. Dents are probably starting to get too annoyed to support and contribute. Uh, or I guess maybe they're just worn out because they might have seen at this point that no no matter how much money you throw down the hole, it's never going to be filled. Two weeks from now, he's going to need more money for something. Uh, three weeks from now, he's going to need more money for something. Four weeks from now, something's going to break in his house or he's going to get some behind the scenes thing that is very stressful for him and he needs your support. Fighting him. So there's always going to be something. And if you're dedicated to supporting him, You've got a lifetime of support ahead of you, guy. It's never getting fixed. It's never getting solved. I get upset and I swear about the netcode and shit. Fine. Fair enough. That's huge criticism. And you could you have a, the right to do that. But when you're fucking with my livelihood to try to get some kind of a reaction, that's just insane. You know? And by the way, and I should say this too. Even people on like Kiwi Farms and shit don't support that. But it's funny because they still do it. You know, who is they? they don't even support it. Like, I know for a fact that that guy who owns Kiwi Farms doesn't want people messing with people's livelihoods and stuff. He outright says it. Yeah, because you're touching the poop and you're flexing about it on the board. And obviously it's against the rules. He's like, that's not what I want. I don't want this site to be that. I don't want you guys doing that. That's not the whole idea. The idea of a lol cow culture. And now he's going to explain to you what a lol cow culture is. Very interesting. I love to hear it. Is that a someone like, apparently is so much of a messed up mess in their own life that they're just going to make mistakes on their own and then you observe the mistakes and you laugh at them. Sure. So you're milking them for the content, right? You just sure. laugh at their misfortunes. You don't create the misfortunes for them. But I don't get to decide when the misfortunes get to happen. Like, what, what do you want me to fucking do? And I'm speaking on behalf of, I guess, the general audience. Like, what do you want me to do? I didn't tell that guy to go and fucking drop a bunch of memberships, but I think it's really fucking funny it happened. Because that could be anyone. Like, literally, if you're creating misfortune for anyone, of course their life's going to be fucked up. That's your fault. That's not because they made a mistake. That's because you fucked around and messed with their life. That's the opposite of the mentality of the lol cow, right? That's malicious. That's different. Uh, so what, what does he intend on having with this segment what is the effect that he thinks saying this will have i i don't think anything's gonna change i already know that this is right not to touch the poo i'm not doing it but i can't help in, to prevent what other people are doing that's what these people are doing and it's really fucked up <clears throat> i don't get to decide if somebody's gonna cut cut off his internet and rename his wi-fi to pandalee was hotter but if it happens and it's fucking funny don't mind if i laugh at it 
And that shit was really funny, too. Uh, I don't care who I fight in Street Fighter. I don't and it was true, yeah. Panda Lee is indeed hotter. And was. And still is. Give two fucks. Like I, as I said, when you're when you're playing fighting games in any kind of a competitive. Oh wait, wait, wait! Now we get the now we get talking about the disabled guy he played. Uh, I don't care who I fight in Street Fighter. Wow, this this pre-stream is packed with content, dude. It's packed with gold dust. God damn. I don't give two fucks. Like I, as I said, when you're when you're playing fighting games in any kind of a competitive capacity, especially if you're in ranked online, um. Everyone's fair game for criticism and everyone's fair game for shit talking. That's not shit talking, bro. Yeah, there's shit talking is one thing, and then insulting somebody on a personal level is another thing. And I'm not a, a, against that. I insult him on a personal level a lot because I want to make my disrespect very vocal and personal because I disrespect him as a person and I have no respect for him. But for him, he is a public personality. He is, matter of fact, doing this for a business. So I don't think making personal attacks against people is the best way to approach this. A fighting game to do it. Go play R-Type. You fucking buffoon. You mouth jeweler. You fucking don't understand how to play fighting games. You abuse the net code. I don't think this is shit talking. I don't think this is shit talking. And then the plot twist is bang. This guy that he played is actually a disabled person. Very nice. I don't personally research every person who I've played in every fighting game. I'm pretty sure... In the 15 years I've been playing fighting games online, I've probably played a ridiculous amount of people of every single race, creed, level of accessibility, uh, you know, player skill, you know, gender, and all of that. And nothing that I've ever said against any of them is considered personal. It's just shit talk when you play online. If anyone tries to spin it in any other way, they can go fuck themselves because they're losers just trying to stir up drama on uh -huh. the internet. And I hope that they get fucked. Like, I hope they trip and fall on a cactus and it gets shoved up their ass and they can't walk straight for the rest of their lives. Oh, wow. They deserve Is that shit talking? For trying to create drama where it doesn't exist. You know? <laughs> what a great segment. God damn. Does that mean that insulting his wife is fair game because she's a public personality on the internet that is voluntarily putting herself out there? It should be okay. Because you can insult me based on whatever and people have in the past. Because I willingly put myself out there. Hold on. I'm going to turn on the camera. I don't have the camera on because uh, I'm sitting in a pretty dark room. So it doesn't make sense. Look at this. Look at this fucking stash. Look at this effeminate complexion. Look at this hoodie. Look at this t-shirt. Look at all this. How are you going to make fun of this? What you got? Get out of here. Get out of here. Shit talk in the fighting game community has always been there. And especially when I'm criticizing, especially, you know, someone's game, that's literally what I'm criticizing, their game. That's it. I don't know who the person is on the other end of the internet. I'm not personally attacking anyone. So no one should be afraid to just be able to have criticism of someone's game. And if you think that people should like pussyfoot around fighting games or shooters or anything because you're afraid someone on the other end of the internet might be sensitive, fuck that. Okay, so... So freedom of speech. It's called freedom of speech. This is YouTube, Phil, not the United States of America. There is terms of service that prevent you from having the freedom of speech you have in the Constitution. <clears throat> it's not called freedom of speech. <laughs> it's freedom of speech if you're outside on the street. If you're in there on YouTube, it's not freedom of speech. You don't have any. So, nice try trying to create drama. It ain't gonna work on me, bitches. Nice try, but fuck off. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I guess we're fucked. <clears throat> all we have to work off of is all the other drama. Uh, speaking of which, thank you for sending me this uh, Sir Iron pill. Let me just copy this. And it's apparently 50, 50 seconds in. Well, let me... Appreciate that, Cyrax. Um, Sarah says she cannot afford the more expensive membership. You cannot afford five ninety nine versus three ninety nine. Well, if you really, really can't, I'm certainly not going to complain. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> I don't know if I believe you that you're telling me that something you pay three ninety nine for now that you can't pay five ninety nine for to get the same thing plus added benefits. Because a troll ruin is trying to ruin the channel. I, I have a hard time believing that. I'm hold sorry. on, hold on, dude. What are the added benefits? What are the added benefits? Because as far as I oh, 
It's the Q&A. That's the added benefit, isn't it? <laughs> he lets you ask him a question for two extra dollars. The thing you can do for free on his podcast by just tagging him in chat. You get it as an extra paid benefit, dude. <laughs> I can't believe this man is real. I really do. But maybe you're maybe you you can't scrounge up the two bucks. That's okay then. Obviously, I can't force anyone to do anything. But I told you that's my concern. My concern is your concern is not being able to force people to give you more money. You, you probably don't want to be saying that. People don't like change. And it's been like this for a year and it works and people are used to but what, bro the change is that you just charge them more money yeah i don't like that type of change either if uh if game pass or ps plus increases their price i might stop paying if i don't think it it makes sense it and now i'm being forced into a change i don't want to do i don't want to do that change and i'm being forced and that sucks so right there I, right, there's an example. I almost feel like there's going to be people who are going to say, well, I just can't do it. It's like, well, can you really not do it? Or you just... But what, why does it matter? If they say I can't do it, then they can't do it. Maybe they're just being nice and they don't feel like what you're offering is good enough for five fucking 99 a month, Phil. Not want to do it, right? Because you're afraid yeah. you don't like change. You don't want to have to pay more. I hear... But why... why look at this. He's assuming that the reason why you wouldn't want to do it is because you're afraid of change. Change being paying more. You're scared to pay more. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't want you to pay more. Get the fuck you know out of I mean? here. I mean, it fucking sucks. It's these pieces of shit ruining my everything that I have set up here. You know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. Haseo, yes, Ultra members are never going to change. Ultra members are going to stay there forever. They're not changing. Their Ultra membership level is fine. So, yes, you can become an Ultra member. Uh, no problem. Mm -hmm. And then you would keep your crown. That's right. <clears throat> Do I like the Grinch game or Pal World more? I can surely tell you 100% little drill. I like Pal World more than the Grinch game. That Grinch game was very boring. Do we get more yeah, content? Chris, I'm aware. Someone already modded Pal World on PC and made all the characters look like the real Pokemon that they represent and made the, the actually main character look like Ash Ketchum and Nintendo immediately struck them down and removed all oh, media man. from the internet and everything of it. Sued the crap out of them. <laughs> it was immediate action. That's how Nintendo works. That's what uh, NFL is going to do whenever they catch wind of him doing a Super Bowl event. Hey, hold on, criminal. What do you, what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Do you have a license for that Super Bowl? I don't think so. Time to delete your channel, bro. <clears throat> Dan the Man, yes. What's going to happen is the memberships are going to go away. There's not going to be any <laughs> memberships but Ultra. I need to delete. They didn't go away, by the way. I need to create two new levels. One's going to be very, very cheap. Uh, like shut the fuck up. A dollar or two bucks, whatever the minimum A dollar or two bucks. It's actually not, as far as I know. So let's see the pre-stream from yesterday. Unless there's more content here, because this one has been packed, man. Hello? Because, like, I wonder if DSP was a viewer. And he was... Oh, are we dropping? I think we're dropping. Hold on. There's a small F. Because everything is buffering here. Okay, it's back. Uh, so anyways, imagine that Phil was a viewer, and he got himself to become a member to one of his fav favorite content creators. Uh, imagine that was Maximilian Dude. And then Maximilian Dude raised the price by $2. How do you think Phil would react? I think he would say, oh my god, this greedy fucking piece of shit. He already makes hundreds of thousands of dollars, and he wants my extra $2. I'm sure he would be fucking pissed off. But now that he's doing it, it's actually great. It's okay, and you should agree with it, or you're just not a real DSP fan. Dollar alert. People don't like change. The guy who's afraid to change his lifestyle to live within his means. So instead, he scams his audience man shrugging medium dark skin tone. Yeah, and he's admitted in the past, uh, being resistant to change is actually the main reason why he's lost prominence over the, the ages, you know, over time. Pretty crazy. He's been pretty much resistant to change at every single step of his YouTube career. 
when you think about it. Nemesis T type, please shut up. <laughs> <laughs> please shut up. <clears throat> anyway. Because uh, right. Joel. So what do you guys Tractor? really want to talk about today? That's not drama nonsense. <clears throat> so, what do you guys want to talk about? I guess nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll I'll check out one if it hits a streaming service. Yes. Remember, take care. Thank you so much. Always Resident Evil 1. Shit, me. AI and is their lives every day and never think about shit like that. So to actually have a game make you think big picture stuff like that is kind of scary almost. Yeah, wait, wait, which one? About my own mortality. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is a midlife crisis segment. Because during the midlife crisis, uh, people start acknowledging and thinking about their own mortality, which is a pattern that has been happening with DSP. He basically checks every single box for midlife crisis ever, such as being in denial about midlife crisis, um, a, a high level of spending, because, you know, some guys usually buy, like, a motorcycle or a leather jacket. He buys, like, video game toys and shit. Did you see what he said in chat that if you say that Argentina's situation is as intended, then you are wrong and you will be removed? Full mask off, act off. Uh, I, I probably haven't seen it, but, but I've seen the quote. I've seen people say, you are wrong and you will be removed. Uh, uh, straight up deported. That Maybe I can come across that um, in one of the clips. First time I ever played it. I was like, holy shit. So that would probably be it. The thing is, like, after that, you kind of, once you play more of those games, you become more and more desensitized to it. So it's not nearly as scary, right? I would say psychological horror games these days are more scary. Like, for example, the game Soma. Literally made me think about my own mortality. Yeah, because uh, midlife crisis. It made me think about AI and is is could AI be real life too? Is, it, is, there, is there such a thing as a soul? You know, having those big those big thoughts could be scary to some people. Most people go through their lives every day and never think about shit like that. So to actually have a game make you think big picture stuff like that is kind of scary almost. So I would say something like that. Yeah, but, dude, it's yeah, crazy. The, dude. Especially if you're just sitting around watching like children's shows all day and then consuming content that is for adults, it blows your mind. Game's legit. Because they're like DSP and Cat just sitting around watching Sesame Street and shit. Scare me? No, not really. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, uh, thank you, Big Ocho. Big Ocho did a legit gifted membership and it went to Zen Shuriken. So congrats, Zen Shuriken, on getting that gifted membership. I know actually Zen Shuriken has been waiting to get it uh uh, uh get a membership and he just got one, so congrats on that. Yeah, well, it wouldn't have been as cool if he got the fake membership, huh? It would still count, but it wouldn't have been as cool. Big Ocho for supporting the channel. Now a million things came in at once and I missed them all. Holy shit. Uh, oh. I have them. Now he stalled long enough to get money. It's crazy. No, I didn't pre-order any games yet. Like I said, probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow by the end of my end of my work day. But so that way I, I have them preloaded. Uh I'll probably buy the games and have them load over my day off. So that I'll have them for Friday. Um I think Infinite Wealth, I'll probably at the least I'll probably get the middle version. Because the middle version has the two extra classes and oh some extra content. God. I don't know if I'm going to go with the crazy. There's a crazy version that's the way crazy more version. <laughs> it makes you schizophrenic. Extra content, not only for like the Sujimon, which I think is it the comes with like a a stray jacket fighting the collector's edition, the optional fighting mini game thing, but also <clears throat> uh, for your island, which is the virtual island is the, the content I'm expecting to do with my cat. You're watching. So, Tekken 8, I'm just going to get the standard version. I looked at the other versions. Essentially, the reason you pay more is because you're getting the season pass, and I'm not sold that I'm going to keep playing this game. You know, I don't know yet. It's not like Street no. Fighter. Oh, yeah. Speaking of uh, fighting games, I think he recently played his last uh, stream of Street Fighter because it joined all the other fighting games in the camp of being broken and laggy, and everybody exploits the game. Which, you know, you might think of a couple of other fighting games, such as literally every fighting game he's ever played. Kind of guaranteed. I'll and Tekken is definitely going to be on there as well. Especially after the first week or two. When people actually get the grips of how the game plays, and then they're going to clap his ass. I was going to try it for the long haul. This one I didn't know. Um, so I'm probably just going to get the standard version. You don't really get much else. Again... I apologize. I, I, I'm paranoid. <laughs> That's okay, Phil. And I'm just going to say, if anyone tipped me besides One Minute Man, oh, I wait. Gotten it. So oh, wait. This is why he's paranoid. Because 
money is not coming in. And it's like, wait, you guys, I haven't got money that I feel entitled to. So it makes me paranoid that PayPal is broken. Let me know if you tipped me. <laughs> Maybe. And now they're going to tip him. Somebody's going to tip him to test if it works. They're going to do that because that's what they do. You just no one did. And that's fine if no one did. But usually I get a few tips on the pre-stream and it makes me nervous that I'm not getting anything again. I get paranoid because these idiots oh, are look. fucking... He did not finish SFVI story LMAO. Oh, he didn't. He did, couldn't even do that. God damn it. With my livelihood every day. So hopefully things are working. <clears throat> Thank you, Cork. Cork says, no question. Just want to wish you well on your coming stream and have a fabulous day. Thank you. <clears throat> this, this, these new clothing is so bad man he should just stick with the gaming t-shirts uh, and i mean that this new well-dressed phil is terrible because it also doesn't make sense with the background that he has because it's like a fucking children's background and then you get a, a like a 60 year old dude wearing a 60 year old uh, piece of clothing that just doesn't fit it's just not uh, thematically consistent he should be wearing children's shirts <laughs> like actual <laughs> 672 is actually like a children's shirt with elmo on it or something engage with comments more on your on-demand videos it might in turn entice people to leave super thanks uh i try <clears throat> but i'll be honest with you 672 not a ton of people leave very many comments because i think this just the idea that my comments were off for so many years oh yeah that, get out of here not used to doing it no they just have nothing to say man because like i bet most of the people that are even playing that shit are just putting it in the background while they play a video game or something. Now, like, I don't think his real fans are paying attention to this nowhere near as much as he thinks they are. Or even nowhere near as much as he wants them to. And the few that do, I'm very appreciative. You'll see any comments I, any comment that you see on my videos in the last two, three years, I saw every one of those. I proved those myself. Okay? But, but you also saw the negative ones, which is what truly matters. <clears throat> But basically, there's not a lot of conversational stuff there, right? Not that I... Every once in a while, there will be. Or if someone has a direct, important question, I actually will respond. There's just not a lot of opportunity. If people actually did leave me more comments that were open to conversation, I probably would talk back and forth with people in the comments more. So basically, ask you questions. That's what op open to conversation means. Or you just call them an idiot. But it just doesn't... It's not that nature. I mean, I, I challenge you. Go check comments on any video I've uploaded in the last two weeks. And you would see what's on there and you'd be like, oh, I get it. Like, there's really no one who's talking in a back and forth manner with Phil. Excuse me. Nope. Not excused. Uh, now, I don't have any thoughts about Until Dawn being made into a movie. It'll probably just be a horror movie, right? It could yeah. be good. I don't know if it'll be good. Well, why why, why are they even bothering? Because it's a, it's a movie game that it's pretty much imitating cheesy, campy 80s horror movies, and then they adapt that into a movie? It's like the human centipede of content right here. It's it's a shame because it's been almost 10 years since the game was made, and a lot of those actors don't even look the same. Like, what's her name? Hayden Panettiere or whatever. Like, I just saw her in the Scream movie last year. She looks totally different. She's older now, so she looks like an older woman. It's like, oh, yeah, she she's a milf. Of the teenager being in the cabin, right? Like, it wouldn't make sense. So they're probably going to have to recast everyone. Um, or they can just have a completely different cast of characters and have the same overarching story. Do the movie. But the movie could be good. It's a good plot. It's definitely a good horror movie plot. I guess the question is, will it be nearly as good because the whole point of the game is, like, to choose your options? And if you, the element of choice is taken away and it's just a, oh, here's what happened kind of a deal then i don't know if it'll really work as a movie i don't know okay well they can make it a, a netflix interactive movie have you guys seen the bear grills interactive specials on netflix where he goes to survive somewhere and you get to see how he survives hey guys should i jump over this huge canyon or should i descend down and then you pick the jump over the canyon, and he's like, Oh, you silly, I can't jump over this canyon. I'll just swing down. <clears throat> oh, but yeah, but, but Bandersnatch was great. That was the actual one that worked. Did I have any gangs in my neighborhood growing up? 
I'm sure I just I didn't engage with them or know about them. I was young. I was too young. And then by the time that I was getting becoming a teenager, I was not doing shit in my neighborhood. I was driving away and doing arcade yeah. stuff. For it was not gang stuff. affiliated. I wouldn't really know. Uh, yes, I'm interested in the Indiana Jones game. It looks pretty good. Really? It's the makers of Wolfenstein. So they they have a good track record, and I'm interested in it. Yes. Yeah, the, those guys that make high octane, super aggressive shooters are making a stealthy puzzle walking around Indiana Jones game. I don't I don't trust it. It looks bad to me. It looks like a game that would have come out in like 2016, 2018. <clears throat> you can't have a conversation in your comment section so people don't comment. Yes, you can. What are you talking about? Yeah, you can. I just need to approve every single reply. So you guys can have a conversation. What happens is if you leave a comment on a YouTube video, okay, one of my videos, it goes into a queue, and automatically if you if you say something nasty, like a big swear or an insult, it just gets deleted. I don't even see it. YouTube just tosses it, okay? <clears throat> then there's people who just leave comments and YouTube can't determine, so I review those. And if it's a comment that's, you know, considered a positive comment, or even if it's constructive criticism, that goes up too. Basically anything but insults goes up on the video, okay? So, yes, you can have a conversation. You leave the comment, and then I review it, and I approve it, and then you could respond to that with your own, and I'll see that response, and I'll and approve, I'll approve it. it. Oh, dude, what? So he's being the middleman to every single conversation. This is not having a conversation. It's not actively live, but it, you know, <laughs> it takes a day or two for me to just sift through. Yeah, it is so natural. It's so natural when every time you want to reply to somebody's comment, somebody else has to approve your reply. Very interesting. Definitely a, a lot of sense of freedom comments and approve them but is it is it true i don't know if this is true or not can you enable it so that if someone responds to your youtube comment you get a notification somehow i don't know if, if that's yeah you true can it used to be like that it used to be that you could actually set it up that you had a section that you could see all your comments and you could see who responded to your this guy has made like a million off of youtube and has no idea how the platform works it's actually, he should, every single day he wakes up, he should be praying to God and being grateful that he's still allowed to do this shit. Comments? So that's how you would do it. But I don't know. I mean, YouTube's changed so many times over the years. I have no idea if that even exists anymore. Right? Um. <clears throat> Dark Gaming says he disabled comments on his main channel. None of my comments yesterday showed up. Dark Gaming, I personally approved all of your comments. They're all there. I remember I checked last night and I saw your comments and I said approve approve approve. <clears throat> what it is is you're so used to the comments instantly posting on everyone else's channel that you're not used to a, a channel that has this level of protection to stop the trolling. You got to understand. So you need to adapt to his weird way of having a comment section if you want to have a good experience. You just need to get used to it. Understand? Before I had how, how about I just fuck off and watch somebody who is is better? Why, why do I have to give you all this fucking time and all this effort to adapt to your own little universe? This Get fucked. It literally 99% of posts on my channel were insult, insult, racism, sexism, like all things that were disgusting and toxic. And all my viewers asked me to actually turn off comments because they couldn't enjoy the videos anymore. So I did. Yeah. Because then... you know, you guys, while you're watching a video like I am right now, the comments, they just start popping on your screen. Like, it's a, this is how you don't play. They just appear, dude. Like, I'm just enjoying the the Level 1 podcast, episode 234, and I get a comment that says the N-word in the middle of my screen. It's ruining my enjoyment of the video. YouTube Institute is God damn it. to filter comments. And like prison where cause video mail. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Now the comments are better. Somebody else has to read it and say they approve it. Uh, what the fuck? Get out of here. <sighs> so there you go. I specifically know I saw Dark Gaming's comments because he has the the uh, Kirby avatar. And I remember approving all of his, his Kirby comments. <clears throat> What's up, Jade? Good to see you here today. Okay, um, I received a $5 tip, so apparently tips are working. Thank you. You see? <laughs> Thank you. Tips are working. Thanks for testing it out. From Smelly Vision. <laughs> so here's $5 guy. for your content. Thank you so much, Smelly Vision. Because he's had in the past, he's had people send him $5 just to say test. And he's like, okay, guys, I can see it's working now. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, but the thing is, if you fall for this level of basic shitty ass manipulation, you kind of deserve 
You, you deserve this treatment. I mean, come on. Come on. Yes, I'm, I'm aware that Pal World is in the insane smash viral hit of the year. Over 6 million copies now sold. Hey, that's an interesting number. Almost got up to 2 million concurrent Steam players. It's insane the amount of people who are playing this game right now. Um, like, here's the thing. I get it because it's addictive and, and it's easy to jump into. But at the same time, I don't get why that many people are playing it besides viral popularity for the sake of social media viral popularity. It that absolutely means nothing. This statement means absolutely nothing. So they're playing it because it is popular. And how did it become popular? Because they are playing it. It's a chicken and egg situation. Never made any sense. Uh, whenever he brings up a point like this and he makes those points a lot, it never makes any sense. But he can just keep talking about whatever he wants. Nobody's going to check him on it. And if you, if you try and check him, you get banned. So good luck. It's not anything that's groundbreaking or to write home about. <clears throat> um, you know, Makes you want to think, why is he playing it? And if he says, I'm playing it because it's new and I want to check out if, uh, if people enjoy it, then wouldn't that be the reason why other people are playing it as well, just to check it out because it's new? And it's also included on Game Pass. That's how I played it. It's, it's not my thing, but it seems all right. No, but I don't, I don't know. These, a lot of these viral popular games, they get popular for unknown reasons, right? I think the reasons are pretty known. And even I that have played it for like 10 minutes, I'll tell you that it's just like Pokemon, but apparently you can do a lot of other stuff that you can't do in Pokemon games and people have been asking about for years and they didn't include them in Pokemon games. So I guess that's why it's popular. That explains it to me. Alert. Making them pay to test PayPal is Begnosis. Yeah, well, it is. It is. But if they fall for it, man, I mean, well, like MF Doom said, it, it ain't my fault you kick slow. It's not my fault. It's nothing I could do about it. Yeah, it's, t it's a time waster, but it's a fun time waster. I'll admit that. Like, at first when I started playing, I didn't know what I was doing. By the end of the three hours, I was actually liking it. I was like, oh, I can't wait. To I want to play more later this week because I was enjoying my time in there. <clears throat> Avarice says, would you live premiere on-demand video so people can comment and, and do conversation in real time? You know, I don't understand how that works. It, You're an idiot. I, it, that's why I've never done it. How do you not understand how it works? Are you an actual idiot? I know that you can... Any video that you... Because I, I was thinking he would do that because that lets people send him super chats too and memberships and stuff. So he can be in chat while the video is premiering and can be like, oh, what's up, you guys? Oh, my God. Thanks for the... Uh, the thing, man. Thanks for the contribution. Schedule. I, w I thought he would be doing this day one, but it turns out he doesn't even know what it is. On YouTube, you can set as a live premiere. And I don't exactly know how that works. I, I guess what you're saying is when the video is live premiering, people can comment on it? No, it premieres it like a live stream, basically. And there is a live chat, and it works just like a live stream in a live chat version rather than the on-demand comments version. I don't know how that works at all. If we talk about that and figure it out, I'd be down to figure it out. I, I don't understand it though. How, how can't you just figure it out by yourself in five minutes? I mean, come on. Keep in mind though, those live premieres, there's not gonna be any moderation. That's kind of the bummer. Like there would never be any moderation. So there's potentially it would be just toxic people going in there and being toxic. So? Could stop it. So? <clears throat> Sorry for the N words. News, now, noob, naked, new, narcissist, ninja, again, I'm sorry. Oh, no, none of these got, uh, got the bot to, to replace something with gingerly or another positive word. So I guess all these words are very positive. Nothing to be sorry about, dude. What should people do if they're gifted one of these fake memberships and can't afford a higher tier? Absolutely nothing. You don't do anything. <laughs> what do you, nothing is expected of you. Yeah, it's, it's a loophole in the YouTube system. It ain't your fault you got it. So what? why would I... Well, no one's asking anything of you. Why would you even say that? Interesting, because here, it seems like you're asking something out of him, Phil. Um, Sarah says she cannot afford the more expensive membership. You cannot afford $5.99 versus $3.99. Well, if you really, really can't, I'm certainly not going to complain. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> You see, I think the difference in attitude comes with the fact that this is an unrecorded segment and this is a part of his recorded streamed podcast. I think that's the difference.
and then we keep going. I don't going. know if I believe you that you're telling me that something you pay three ninety nine for now that you can't pay five ninety nine for to get the same thing plus added benefits because a troll ruin is trying to ruin the channel. I, I have a hard time believing that. I uh, added benefits is, by the way, asking him a question. Uh, big ups, Paul Temps, for the membership, dude. <clears throat> it's like a semi-live stream. You watch with viewers and you comment as it plays along. If, basically, if there's no way to moderate it, then I wouldn't do it. What a fucking you know? idiot. What an actual idiot. It doesn't make sense unless, unless there's a way to moderate it then I'm never going to do it. I have to have moderation on all my content because of these crazy people on the internet, you know? It has to be safe for the viewers. It can't just be, oh, it's a live premiere. Let me check out the video. Oh, look, racism, sexism, insult, really? doxing, fucked up stuff. I can't do that. Bro, you know? get, get the... Uh, <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> just make it a members-only chat then. What's the problem? What's the problem? And he's cucking himself out of potentially double dipping in that as well. Because it needs to be safe for the viewers, no, dude. For the Sarah, please don't take offense about... Oh, uh, yeah. uh, you can't say gingerly in these words. You see, I guess you can't. You can't say gingerly anymore, man. I thought this was America. My response, but to answer your question for the millionth time, no, I'm Klaus not putting this Super podcast Chat. on Spotify. I'm not putting this podcast on Apple Music. The Why idea not? The is to get people to come to this channel, subscribe to this channel, and support this channel. If I split the podcast and put it other places, then I'm not getting support for my business. Yeah, but what if they can't listen to it on the background on mobile because they don't have YouTube Premium? And no, buying YouTube Premium is not a solution when they could just use fucking Spotify or I Apple iTunes or whatever. You know what I'm saying? There's no and also, you don't want to branch out and allow your audience that likes your stuff to enjoy it on multiple platforms it seems like you don't really care about them it seems like you only care about them if you want to benefit something point to putting this other places i need people to come here and support this business this is my livelihood it doesn't help me to put it other places so i'm not doing that <clears throat> uh, i don't have premium i have a uh, revans because i steal stuff and i'm a criminal Someday they're going to shut it down and it's going to be very sad. Do I have a favorite 8 or 16 bit soundtrack from a game? Because uh, greed is massively strong. Oh man, Mega Man 2? Is, but they think it's Kickstarter, okay? Oh, what? People are expecting that when they pay to a Patreon that they're getting something out of it. Yeah, that's why there are perks that you're offering, correct? Okay. They think it's Kickstarter. It's not, but they think it's Kickstarter, okay? So when I started with my page, no, but like having a Patreon is is not just for people to be giving you money so you can feel like you want a paycheck. You actually have perks you got to go through with, right? Patreon back in the day, and I was like, hey, if you want to support this channel, you could do a Patreon, and maybe we'll have tiered rewards if we hit this level of support. Uh -huh. People thought it was transactional. Well, yeah, it is. Just like membership is also transactional because you want certain benefits. And then what would happen is, if I couldn't live up to the expectation of what people wanted then they would all be upset. Yes. I mean, yeah. Because uh, that's what happened with the Project 7 reboot. Remember that? Excuse me. The Project 7 reboot trailer. Because he got money to make a trailer for something that was never going to happen. And he had no intention of making it happen. And guess what? The trailer didn't come out anyways. Or it might have. But how are you going to make a trailer with no footage of something that you never intend to come out or work on it? Okay. Sounds like a scam to me. So basically after learning the hard way a couple times when I, I tried to make realistic but interesting goals and then we hit the goal. So but much for that business degree. DSP is capping. Oh, he, he absolutely learned nothing, man. There's people right now that take their degrees based on a bunch of like chat GPT stuff. And that's how they write their reports that actually more know more about business than he does. But then I basically couldn't live up to the, the promise of what I was going to do with those goals. Everyone you tried to make drama out of it and complain. I said, well, I just don't care about it anymore. Yeah, but isn't it warranted to make drama out of something that you just lied about? So when I became a, a full-time streamer in 2017... Because he was... Uh, I know what he was doing back in the day. He was basically doing this. Hey, guys, go to my Patreon and pledge so I can just not worry about any kind of monetization on ad or ad revenue. 
and then people pledged and he kept begging them. And he, at the same time, kept complaining about monetization and ad revenue. So it's kind of, yeah, no, it, it doesn't work like that. Patreon just became a way that if you want to support me behind the scenes, maybe you're an on-demand viewer of all my content here. You never come to streams and you still want to support. Pledge to my Patreon a couple bucks a month. That helps, right? Easy way, auto sub, does it behind the scenes. No muss, no fuss, no stress. There you go, right? Or uh, right now, the main use of my Patreon is for people who want to get private videos made every month, whether it's a private react, a Q&A video, whatever it may be. It's $50 pledge. I'll make a private video for you every month, and I do a few of those every month, and that helps out. It really does. Um, you got to be you gotta be the, the stupidest person on this planet to be doing this. I mean, come on. But outside of that, if I were to make a Patreon for, say, DSP Throwback, immediately what would happen is people would say, well, I want something for it, so let's do this and this and this. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm already working six days a week full time. I'm juggling <laughs> DSP gaming, DSP Throwback. DSP Imagine being mega greedy for everybody's money but it's borderline a criminal offense if they expect something for their money wow <laughs> already i don't have crazy time to do extra reward crazy dude and that's what i mean if you try to set up something like that people immediately expect well what's the extra thing you're doing for it yeah of course they will i, I literally can't do anything extra i'm already stretched to my limits with the time that i have like no exact so basically the patreon is simply just supplementary income that's that's all that it is give me so i can have some extra money and add yet another paycheck to all my monthly paychecks or my daily paychecks exaggeration right now sitting on my desk over there is a pile of bills that i have to pay okay how, wait how do we get here my limits with the time that i have like no exaggeration right now sitting on my desk over there is a pile of bills that I have to pay. I have to start working on taxes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, we're connecting the docs gang. So a couple of days ago, he got a really upsetting news. Um, and so it happens that he has to start working on his taxes soon. I wonder if that upsetting news that he got that made him so upset that he had to give a trigger warning. By the way, the trigger warning in his universe is him announcing that he might get triggered it's not the other way around so yeah um and he has to be given trigger warnings on his stream because something real bad happened to him and he's very stressed i wonder if that has anything to do with the taxes because man we might have a 2024 tax saga again when was the last time he had it 2017 2018 19 up until the up until the bankruptcy and after the bankruptcy it was all good but now the tax man cometh the tax man is arriving. Dude, what is this? What do I hear? It's the tax man's music. Um, I've got to do this DSP reacts thing with the canceling the membership, setting up the new membership goals, doing all that. I have to pre-order the games for Friday and install them on my consoles. Like, this is what I've got sitting on my lap that I... Wait, what? Uh, are we trying to make it seem like pre-ordering a game and clicking download He's talking about is work? 100%. We're really pretending this is work? Like uh, clicking on buy on the Xbox marketplace and then clicking install is work? Get the fuck out of here, dude. Get the fuck out of here. I have no sympathy. I live for this shit. Get out of here. Uh, Klaus says he's talking about his phone 100%. I don't know what you mean by phone and in what context he's talking about it haven't because here is just talking about bills dude done yet because i have so much other shit going on that i have to get done this week right so that's my light you know i don't have time to say hey let's set up a patreon and brainstorm yeah, you even do. more goals and rewards over there right and then <laughs> and they keep doing more I, I can't i'm one guy and again i think what it is is there's a mis i think it's it's even hard for him it's even hard for him to try and do the mental gymnastics to, to frame himself as a hard worker. And now he says, I'm just one guy. What about the whole team of people working on DSP throwback so you don't have to do a single thing? All you got to do is just send them the source videos like once a week and then upload everything that they've made for you. You're still one guy? 
misconception that because I'm such a long-running YouTuber and so many people talk about me, that I'm some kind of a big-time guy. I'm not. You kind of are. You, you earn as much as a big-time guy. Smaller YouTubers need to get a part-time job or a full-time job, and they do YouTube part-time. Yeah, you kind of are a big guy. Just by the bare essence that he's doing this for a living makes him a big guy. Because your average streamer that streams in front of like 20, 30, 50 people can't really do this as a job. It's not really sustainable. I don't have a staff of people working behind me helping me with stuff. You know, I have a couple editors helping me with DSP Throwback. That's great. But I'm the one-man show making all this new content and keeping it all in order every day. You know, I don't have a t crack team of employees that I hired and are working with me to do all this stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. I can't, I, I, I understand what you're saying. A lot of people who have multiple YouTube channels then set up Patreons for each one. So really? On this Patreon, support it on that. What? But I don't have the time to do the extra work. I'm already putting in tons of work on each So if he had time to do it, he would set up three Patreons? One for the throwback channel, one for the react channel, and the one he really has right now. Like, how how much money more does he think he's going to get? How much more can he stretch those Velcro wallets that the Dens have? How much more? What is the limit? Which channel? There is no limit. The sky is the limit. So I can't do any more right now, you know? I'm, I'm already stretched to the limits, so... Have I thought about playing the new Lords of the Fallen eventually? At this point, I think that ship has sailed and no one really gives a shit, right? We had opportunity to play it and no one really yeah, cared. Yeah, that game, like, what? Stuff, so I did. People really wanted Baldur's Gate. <laughs> that game is such a... <laughs> so confusing to me. Because they make this game, the original Lords of the Fallen, and it, it, it was fallen and it couldn't get up. So then they make another one saying, okay, now this time, this one is for real. And then it's fallen again. And it can't get up. And it, it, like, how many times we gotta get fallen to learn that we're gonna fall? So that's what we play. Yeah. All right, Jada, I will see you tonight for Pal World. Sounds good. It time, Pal. Bill? Oh, Say I something? have no idea. Cheetah Man says, What kind of big raids did you receive in your Twitch days? I have no recollection. I never really paid attention to any of that. I have no idea who raided me or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I uh, That was all... Usually people who raided me were not for good reasons. It wasn't like, oh, I'm coming in to support Phil. It would be like, hey, we yeah, all... Yeah, why would you want to do that? Him ...and have everyone fucking talk shit in his chat. So, I, I had a completely <laughs> different... It was a hate raid. ...than most other people did. What song is this? Well, I'm playing a 90s underground hip-hop instrumental style mix. And this one, I can't tell. Oh, it's, it's actually called Hardware, Coming from the Hood. Because we're from the hood, obviously. The mean streets of Connecticut. The streets. Bookworm, you literally just asked me a question about personal finances and things behind the scenes that's no one's public business talking about. Why do you think I would have answered your but, question? Bro, we, we just talked about your public, well, your private finances. And you started reading your fucking YouTube dashboard to tell us how much money you lost. Like, isn't that your private finances? I guess it is, but it's everybody else's business right now. <laughs> right? And he gives you this face. This is the face he's giving you. The mocking squinty eye face with a fake laugh. Why do you think I would have answered that in any way, shape, or form? It's private stuff. Like, no content creator is going to come on their stream and start talking about how they handle that stuff. So why would you ask me that and expect I would answer it? I mean, Except you? I mean, I'm just being honest. <laughs> this is a crazy pre-stream, man. This was so much fun. <laughs> we got a lol cow segment. We got um, the membership, the whole thing. Oh, shit. I don't believe that the VR gaming era ever really existed. Bro, There's get out of here. Space. You should be in VR. So people can beat the shit out of you. We got to get to <laughs> Act 2 of Baldur's Gate 3, guys. Okay? Imagine, so he should do... Dude, he should do a fan meetup in VR. That's going to be the funniest shit ever. The funniest shit. Imagine. What we'll do, let's adjourn and, uh, and get set up and everything. He can have uh, his panel again, just like MAGFest, like 2012 or whatever it was. And, and John, I'm excited to see what we're going to do here. I definitely want to switch out Will. I'm tired of him. I want to get Shadow. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I think this is over. 
So let's go on to the more recent one. So this says one day ago. I want to find the one that says less than a day ago. This one, 15 hours ago. Solution found. We found the solution. It's over. It's over for the trolls. And he's dressed up like... I don't even know what. Like, dude, take this shit off. Get him out of here. How are you today? It's a musical episode of... Damn, he's still drunk. ...of the Level 1 Podcast. No, it's not. Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hope I find you well. And I hope you're ready for a chill and... Yeah, I, I don't know why. When I look at this, I think Chris Chan. Even though Chris Chan has the, the different sweater, you know? The signature Chris Chan line of clothing. This shit. And this is like about as iconic as internet outfits go this is like the where is waldo of people that have sex with their moms look at this this is pure drip this is raw unfiltered style god damn i'm sorry i really do but maybe oh wait that's the wrong one fun final consecutive day of streaming this week and quite frankly for the final day of game streaming before the first big new releases of 2024 hit. Okay, let's get to business, actually. Eight preloaded. I have my PS5 on right now because we're going to play Baldur's Gate. That way we can get that done for Friday. And later tonight when I play Sea of Stars, that's when I'll get like a dragon. Bro, get the fuck out of here. What is he doing here? Is he, is he actually downloading games? Wait, this was a nice grug phase. Hold on. He is gamer face to oblivion in here. Look at this. He's paying so much attention, dude. <laughs> this just... What a great podcast, man. What a great podcast. It's just PlayStation sounds. <laughs> oh, shit. And now oh he's going to burp. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing, if you guys were wondering, I'm going to buy... Uh, Tekken 8 right now and install it while we're doing the podcast <laughs> Imagine Joe Rogan having a podcast and then he just like picks up his phone and starts like browsing I don't know eBay or something. He starts looking for like supplements I'm curious how big it is because the game looks gorgeous so <laughs> It's like you didn't have time to do this another time. It's literally just downloading a game Oh, so I have some really weird to talk about so as you guys know Oh, what is this weird thing? The other that day, I played the demo. It was Monday, and it was unexpected. Like I wasn't actually expecting to play the demo of this game, but I did, and I had a great time with it. I actually was able to beat. Um, but you see, uh, like three minutes into him just looking at his PlayStation dashboard and his phone, because what he's looking at right now is his phone. Three minutes into it, he realized this is actually a podcast, and he should be talking about stuff. So now he is talking about stuff but he's also super distracted so he's actually not really saying anything the hardest difficulty uh ai's that were in the game which was great uh but here's the weird thing so i recorded it right and you know i know that you guys that feel so need to medallion back yeah this shit ain't nothing to me man i'm smoking that pure sonic medallion <laughs> we're smoking that what was the other one? What was the Sony True Nemesis, bro? It had a Nemesis. I forgot. I need to I need to go and recap some Christian stuff. That shit was funny as hell. Or uh you know What was the Sony True Nemesis? You know, watching on stream, correct? Well the weirdest thing about this was No, not not Liquid Chris. The the actual character in the comic book that was Sony True's nemesis. It was like a I don't know, a uh, a blue Sony True or something. I don't know. The weirdest thing about all of that was the the visuals were absolutely outstanding. Bro, I don't give a fuck. Let's let's move on. This overstayed its welcome and it keeps going. Dude, this shit is crazy. How about the standard edition of Tekken 8, $69.99 plus tax. So how long did it take him? This is 26. And he starts. So I guess here on the 17 minute mark, he goes to turn on his console or something. And then he is gone. And then he's back, and he's just looking at the console the whole time. Wow. Uh, which is still expensive. That's quality content. You don't want to be supporting this guy with your extra $2 a month on top of the 5 you already give him. But So that's loading right now for Friday, which would be excellent. Yeah, it's 16 gigs. That's it, according to the game.
the watch frame with the cap well, is talk about the week schedule and then let's talk about the solution for nope we skip the week schedule but we we give the the prayer hands what do we have prayer hands here so that's good news um it means that i can actually push forward with all the work i'm doing on that channel oh what is good news hold on because he's talking about money because his eyes are bulging out so anyway uh yeah that's what's going on with power we had a ton of fun I, I legitimately cannot wait to play Pal World again. I know that sounds weird because it's a weird game, but I actually like it. And I'm thinking, you know, what we'll try to do in the next week is to try to squeeze in a stream of it because this week we're going to be heavily into the new releases. Right? Tekken 8 and Like a Dragon are going to be the most of the gameplay we do this coming week. But I think I would like to at least squeeze in one stream of Baldur's Gate 3 and one stream of Pal World for variety purposes, okay? Anyway. Um, so... That being said, great day yesterday of streaming and all of that. Um, and yesterday, big announcement, guys. Big, huge announcement right in the middle of the day. YouTube approved DSP Throwback as a fully partnered channel on YouTube. Bro, I literally told you. Literally told you he was talking about money, and that's why he's so excited. Meaning any content that you watch on DSP Throwback now should be monetized. Yeah, yay. I can't wait to watch ads. Um, how is this a good thing for me again? And I get credit for it. So all the work that's been, you know, through over three weeks of work put into that channel now finally <laughs> can start earning but something. But it's over. It's over, dude. Like, what do you think you're going to earn? All these videos, they make like less than 500 views. Get out of here. Get out of here full time. All right. What, does he think people are going to go back and watch his uh, first episode of Final Fantasy so they can inflate the views or something? So that's good news. Um... It means that I can actually push forward with all the work I'm doing on that channel and hopefully start to earn something, you know? So, thank you for watching the channel. The Final Fantasy 13 and Red Dead Redemption 1 playthroughs continue. They alternate every day. Also, the the me reacting to the Red Dead playthrough from the stream on uh, Sunday continues. Actually, tonight is the fourth and final part of that. And what we'll do is plan maybe not this coming week. Okay, this is getting skipped, dude. The internet. I really think it's an outstanding game. And I'm sorry What's for a that? while. Yes, with all this going on. See and then tonight. Oh, Sea of Stars. Okay, never mind. Baldur's Gate 3 and Wednesday. That's going to be... Um, consider maybe a Patreon pledge. Oh, wait. We beg... Dedit thinks VKM should get a warning. Um, VKM, you mean Vincent Kennedy McMahon? Uh, I actually don't know what he's done. I know there's like hour long videos on YouTube about him and all the stuff he's done. I just know he's toxic. That's all I know. And probably needs more than a warning. With the new releases coming out, a great way to help out me and this channel would be to either legitimately become a member, legitimately gift a membership to somebody else, or a super chat, or a super sticker, or if you watch these videos on demand on YouTube, a super thanks on any video helps a ton. Oh, or a so tip. a huge beg before we get this started. Link. In the description of all of my videos um and every stream that would help a lot too um consider maybe a patreon pledge over at patreon.com forward slash dark side phil um there's just so many ways so many ways you can give him money dude <laughs> he, he just keeps crying for more he wishes there were more ways he should have a patreon for every single uh playthrough that he does i think that's a good idea that you could contribute because like how much how much can you stretch the funds of a fan base that has already been stretched to its limits? Like, how much more does he want to make for him to be satisfied? No, hey, join YouTube Premium. Because if you join YouTube Premium and you watch any of my content, I get the, the, the credit as if you watched ads on my, my content. That's something you don't even actively have to do anything. You just, you're just our part of it and watch. You don't actively have to do anything except pay a subscription fee content like you normally would and it helps me out all right so any of those things are tremendous i mean i'm here's honestly what i'm hoping i'm really hoping this next week with the new releases things pick up okay there we go he's hoping that you're gonna give him more money next week that's he's just literally just straight up saying it that you know viewership support well it's not literally but you know what i mean everything picks up because right now if the month if the month were to end today I'd be pretty much in a way really bad way next month. Oh, All right. Man. Um, so I'm hoping that things do. So the up. next, holy shit. How many days left are there? So it's 25th. We got 
four, three, seven days minus the day. We got six days left, guys. Six days left. And if he doesn't have a positive ending to the month, it's going to be the worst thing ever. But he will. I mean, come on. In the next week. And again, this isn't anyone's fault. This is because of it. See, it isn't anyone's fault except the person doing it. It's using an exploit and screwing everything up for me. Um, and I'm hoping that things will pick up again. If you were someone who normally would buy a membership or, and, and you didn't because you were gifted one, please consider contributing in another way. All right? I got to keep things going around here. I got to keep the bills paid. And this is a problem right now. Okay? Really? All right. I, I wonder how he used to pay his bills when he had 500 members, which is pretty much what is happening right now. Don't forget, he still has like 500 members. He's getting paid full style. How, how did he manage to pay his bills then? Makes you wonder, right? Because this is the goalpost that's going to keep moving. You get him to 1,000 subs, he's going to get used to being at 1,000 subs. He's going to expect to get paid for 1,000 subs. And when the drop happens, he's not going to be happy with it. And he's going to be wishing to be back to 1,000 subs. So even the people that are supporting him and wailing out on him, on him they're not doing themselves and him any favors. All right. Um, what I'd like to do now is talk about the solution that I found out in regards to uh, DSP React. It's not really a solution. Enough, it's more of a, a good one. It's more of a scam and not really a solution because it doesn't really fix anything. So for those, again, who might not know, I guess you've been living under a rock. DSP React has been in a state of limbo ever since Sunday. Why? Well, because when I pl I did my React show on Sunday, all right, this idiot troll who's been using a VPN and tons of fake accounts came on to DSP React during the React show and gifted like 400 fake memberships. Now, are they really fake? No, they're legit when it comes to the features you get, but they're not legit when it comes to revenue. They I make nothing on them. So again, I have to basically compare this to like, imagine you're running a business, right? And it's a restaurant. And oh my God, no. We got the analogy again. So let's see what the analogy is. I haven't heard this one. I just know it's a restaurant. You have all your regular customers coming in, enjoying your food, rating it highly. Everyone loves it. And then you got some guy who comes in and says, I have the right to eat everything in your restaurant for free. That's literally not what's happening. And it's a, it's a fundamentally flawed analogy. You could say, imagine you had a chain of restaurants in the U.S. and a chain of restaurants in Argentina. Naturally, they're going to be cheaper in Argentina because the Argentina economy is worse off than the U.S. economy. If the pricing in the Argentinian restaurant was the same as the pricing in the United States restaurant, it, it wouldn't Ultimate make sense solution. and people wouldn't buy anything. Solution would fit him and his content much better. Oh, you know, yeah, sure. Well, the ultimate solution sounds even more impactful than the final solution. It's like the solution to end all solutions is this. And you're like, what? Yeah, and there's nothing you can do about it. And he walks in and he just grabs all the food and eats it. And there's nothing you can, you can't stop him and he walks out the door. That's literally what's going on right now. Like these people should not have the right to be purchasing memberships for less than a penny each. Yeah, they should. Cause, um, that amount of money costs differently and has different weight in different countries. But they found a YouTube exploit. Imagine if you could buy different stuff all over the world for $5. So in the US, $5 can get you a milkshake. But in Argentina, $5, United States dollars, can get you a milkshake and a burger and fries. Imagine that. It's kind of how the world works, actually. And YouTube has not fixed it, okay? <laughs> so because of that... Could it put me out of business? No, but basically this show, DSP versus the internet that I do every week, hinges on memberships. The way it works is you become a member and then members can nominate clips. It's like, because for this whole thing to make complete sense the way he intends it to, you literally have to ignore reality. This is where we're at right now with his delusions and him com being completely detached from existence. It's like you actively have to ignore the way the world works in the actual fabric of reality for this to make sense to you. For the show, and we have a playlist of like, you know, 30, 40, 50, up to 100 clips that we've had before. I hit random, select, it shuffles the playlist, and we just watch them in random order, and that's the show. Now imagine overnight, you get from between 30 to 50 clips, and now you get 500 clips instead. 
right? Already I can tell you, it takes me about half an hour, 45 minutes just alone to make that playlist. Can you imagine if I had to do it 10 times? Do I have five hours in a day to do that? No. And in addition, you know you're going to get a ton of troll submissions when most of these are gifted memberships, right? These are not positive invested people. These are people who just handed a membership. Oh, now you have the ability to do this. Um, That didn't seem to be a problem when people were gifting memberships and the people that got the memberships were submitting the videos for DSP Reacts like a month ago or a couple of weeks ago before the whole Argentina thing happened. That was never a problem beforehand. Um, It actually never was. That was definitely never the intention um of the show all right in addition it's not fair to those who paid full price of again imagine you're in a restaurant and you sit down to eat a crazy roasted turkey dinner and you have you get charged 30 dollars for that dinner and then someone else sits down next to you that 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 doesn't make sense and is not going to happen somebody can sit down in that same chain of restaurants somewhere ac across the globe and he can get all that stuff for cheaper. That is just a fact. Has the same exact roasted turkey dinner and they're charged one penny for it. Oh, well, that's just how it works here. No, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it really doesn't, right? What makes me want to come back and spend $30 for this turkey dinner? If you can get it for a penny, that's not equivalent. That's not fair. But that's the thing. He's applying YouTube logic to some random analogy he just made up that doesn't make sense. And he's like, dude, this doesn't make sense. Yeah, I know. And that's what's going to happen on DSP Reacts is if this continues where people get the ability to nominate the clips for free while they have to pay for it, they're not going to keep paying for it anymore and the whole show is going to fall apart, right? Oops, snort. So, that being said, all right? Nice. I need to redesign the channel in the show. And we were talking about various ways to do it over the week. Um, The thing is... Initially, it looked like I was going to have to have everyone cancel everything. Like, every membership was going to have to be canceled. And I was going to have to create new membership tiers and do all this stuff to fix it. <laughs> the good news is... All this snorting and burping and throat clearing, man. This shit is so fucking obnoxious. That's he can barely, like, in some sentences, there's more filler going on than actually saying stuff. It's not the case. And I want to give a humongous shout out to Overpowered Boom. Last night, he was... Oh, yeah, this, this fucking cuck, man. This dude is so cucked out. It's almost unbelievable. Researching YouTube memberships, and he found the solution. And I was like, this is perfect. And the I AI I didn't know about this. There was no way I could have known about it. Because the thing is, the only way you would have known about this solution is if you were a member of a channel <clears throat> already, you were a paying member, and you were messing around with membership levels, okay? So here's the solution. On YouTube, if you are already an existing member of any channel, at any level, and you want to upgrade to a higher level, YouTube gives you a prorated upgrade discount. Bro, this dude, this, uh, what the fuck, man? This sounds like somebody trying to scam me, just straight up. Like somebody stopped me in the street and is trying to sell me insurance, and they like really think I, I'm gonna bite. But it, it's just a fucking scam, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. It's literally like a used car salesman. And now he's trying to convince you how awesome it is. Dude, if you actually pay me more, you can get a discount for the first month. Isn't that great? You, sh you should pay me more now, please. Please pay. Please. Please. Like, actually, please. Pay me. Please. At all. Okay? So the speaking, way... Speaking of please... Uh, what is Pastor Eric Miller doing this time around? Let's give him a quick vibe check. So, okay, 12 days ago, we have the hot video, I think I hate my wife. No, really. I truly don't like her, and that's the problem. <laughs> I thought you wanted to talk about your wife. Talk about my wife, please. <laughs> And you can see I've actually seen this video. I haven't watched it all the way through, but I have seen it. And just witnessing it is is a, is, is good enough. But uh, some lore about this guy, if you don't know. I'm not going to give you the quick recap because uh, the, the actual long-winded thing. But uh, So he cheated on his wife, and then she wanted a divorce. But he is Christian, you see. He's a very devout Christian. So Christianity apparently doesn't accept divorce. So he didn't let her have a divorce. And now he hates her. I think I hate my wife. No, really. I truly don't like her. And that's the problem. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. I want to have sex with your wife. I need to check.
works is, for example, let's say you're already a member on DSP React at the $3.99 standard member level. Well, if I do a new level now, all you have to pay is the difference between the two. This is literally a scam, that, dude. This is so fucking pathetic. I didn't know that, okay? So basically, instead of having to cancel standard memberships, cancel super memberships, make new member tiers, convince everyone to move from one tier to the other and do this big process of moving that was going to be a nightmare. But you still need to convince them to upgrade their membership to the quote-unquote submission tier, which already makes them seem like a gimp. Uh, but yeah, you need to convince them to do that. Good luck with that, Phil. All I needed to do was make a new membership tier that was priced above $5. Crazy. So that way it cannot be Look at how smart he is. And just tell everyone... You have to be part of that group in order to nominate clips. Yes, but a troll potentially can still buy an Argentinian membership for pennies that is going to be on the second tier and they can still send you videos. If they really wanted to, they would absolutely fucking do that. So this is not really a fix. It's just trying to, to make your innocent audience that is already paying you money, pay you more money so it doesn't hurt your bottom line and you don't lose money. That's all it's doing. And it's not good. It's not good at all. And that's it. So and that's, that's it. What I've done. As of this morning, I've created a new membership tier on DSP Reacts. It is called the Submissions tier. Oh yeah, and you can also change your location to Argentina and pay eight cents for the upgrade. You can also do that. It costs five dollars and ninety nine cents in order to become part of it. If you are already a standard member, like many of you are right now, because you either were already paying or you got a gifted membership in the last week, it costs you two dollars to upgrade. Wow, that's uh, I'm so excited. That's I, I guess that's it. Two bucks, and you get the membership for the whole month. Okay, so a two dollar upgrade. You know what is worse? The Argentinian memberships, free ones. Some guy named DSP gave out ten free ones at Xmas Eve. I guess that won't be happening again. Oh yeah, D did he actually forget about that? Cause I I haven't heard him talk about it at all. I already gifted mine for this month, but it's actually fucking crazy. It actually fucking crazy. Cause they give him ten free memberships to gift out, and he hasn't done it. I guess. Gets you. The ability that is a good point. Big ups, D to dog. Dominate clips for the show moving forward, and then that's for a whole month. So essentially, you as the viewer get a discount for the next month. Oh, so it would be four bucks. Now you only have to pay two. Wow, it's uh, no, I don't think that. No, I don't think that's how it works. I think you just pay the difference now for this month, and when this month is over and you gotta pay next month, you just pay the normal. What was it? Five ninety nine. I don't think it's an actual discount. You just pay for the upgrade. Yeah, I don't think it's a discount. Seems like he may straight up just be lying so you about get a it. Discount? How's that? That's crazy, right? The thing is, I'm gonna take a hit. Okay. Because all those people, I'm I'm willing to make that sacrifice, Phil. I'm willing to sacrifice you. That would have been paying four dollars are now only gonna be paying two for the next month. So I'm gonna take like a fifty percent income hit on DSP Reacts for the next month. Oh. And there's nothing I can do about <laughs> it. That's directly I, because of this idiot. Oh, troll. I thought. But, I thought this was a fix to the whole situation, so you're not bleeding money again, and you're not taking hits. So it seems like it's not a fix for anything. You just want more money from the people who are already giving you too much. Okay. Uh. Yeah, effectively, that's what I'm thinking. You pay the two two more dollars for the next six days, and next month you just start paying like five ninety nine. But what a better way to do this because i don't have to cancel anything so now that standard membership just oh stays. so this is great and he loves it just because he doesn't have to put in any work and cancel anybody's membership and all that standard membership is you get emotes you get a chat crown badge you don't have to follow slow mode in the chat that's your benefits at the standard level if you join at the submissions level which is 5.99 a month now you get all that plus you get to submit two clips a week that'll go into the randomized playlist Guys, uh, somebody that's in the U.S. or at least seems uh, sees the the U.S. currency, how much is his basic membership on the React channel right now? Because I would think he would make it like a dollar or something. Because I mean, at at that point, it doesn't matter. Is it still three ninety nine? Are you for real? And the chance to be on DSP versus the internet. So he he didn't lower it because he was talking about lowering it earlier. I think he mentioned ninety nine cents. 
if you become the super member which is 9.99 a month you get all of that below plus you get to submit questions for q a and those will be answered live <laughs> on the dude, show every so week so what and if you do what? the ultra member what wait 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 so back before this thing happened you can pay him 3.99 give him videos to react to and get your normal benefits but now because it's much cooler you need to pay $3.99 for the normal benefits without giving him any video to react to. And you need to pay $5.99 to give him a video to react to. Isn't that much cooler now? Isn't it much cooler? The number is higher, you guys. It's gonna get paid more. Of course, it's much better. What does the consumer think? We don't give a fuck about what the consumer thinks. We got no sympathy. I have no sympathy. Oh, you can't upgrade your membership? I have no sympathy. Oh, you think this is too much for... Uh, barely any perks and asking him a question i have no sympathy you must be a broke boy which is 19.99 a month you get to nominate four clips one a week and each one is guaranteed to be watched on the show and that's how it's going to work moving forward absolutely terrible this is a terrible fix and preem sardine says what stops someone from gifting the new submission tier you can't it's impossible you cannot gift at that tier. You, when gift tiers... Okay, but if they gift hard enough in large amounts, they're still going to shit up the entire gifting number. So at some point, it's going to block him from receiving real memberships. You know, quote-unquote real. The full-priced ones. So you're still fucked, dude. You still fucked. Come in. They come in at whatever is $5 or less. So when people gift, they're only going to be gifting the standard tier. Because I priced it at $5.99, it is omitted from being gifted. And he's so happy about it. He's so excited to tell you all about it. And half of it is bullshit, and the other half wouldn't help him one bit. And he's only hurting his own fans that actually like him. And he's trying to convince him how hurting him, it's actually in their best interest. I need a link. You can't upgrade gifted. I don't know. I actually don't know. Maybe you can't. I haven't tried. That's how it works on YouTube. On Twitch, it's different. On Twitch, you can pick and gift the different. But tiers. he's, uh, I think he's talking about people that already bought the normal memberships upgrading for a discount, quote unquote. You can't do that on YouTube. So because of that, this is safe from the trolling. Does this start today? Someone asked. It's already live. Oh, look at this. Like, why did he have to make this super dramatic reveal? Yeah. It's already live, and I've already posted up the threads by which you can post up clips for Sunday's DSP versus the internet. Whoa. Enough for the gifted BTW. Yeah, of course. Big ups. The whole country is now epic. It's been immortalized. He only has clips from 4PPL lol. Really? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, yeah. Like, what, what did he expect? This is going to be a mess for a long time. This whole membership thing, he's going to be talking about it so much. And like a couple of weeks from now, maybe the Argentina thing is going to slow down. People are going to stop gifting so much and shitting up his whole life. But it's still going to be a problem on the React channel because he's going to be talking about this for ages. How about them apples? Guys, you, you all know I had to do this. And now I know that only 50 people are members. But... Like I said, there's nothing I could do. It's not your fault, but that's the only way to make this channel viable, okay? Yeah, get used to hearing this. And people already have. People already have cl have posted up their clips. Wow, that's wild. How many? Thousands? Tens of thousands? And people have posted up more. Whoa, millions of thousands. Them right here. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. Wait, what? Even his members only uh, community posts, even they have manual approval of comments. Oh my god, this dude is such a fucking Hitler. <laughs> Everything has to be approved. He needs to exercise power in every single avenue he has any possibility of having any kind of power. He needs to power trip to the max on any level. So there you have it, folks. We found the solution. Everything is set. We are good to go. All right. So I'm happy about this. I hope that you are too. Um, right. This is all good stuff. <clears throat> so thank you all for being very, very patient. Okay. Very, very patient on this. Really, I appreciate that. 
And thank you all for listening. And thank you all for putting up with the nonsense, right? I'm, I'm very happy that you have. Um, sadly, you know, this was an annoying process for sure. And there was nothing I could really do about it. He literally but would I have added a 0.99 cent tier. Gifted yeah. memberships are always the lowest tier. Then the $3.99 people could have kept their tier. You know what? That's exactly right. Yeah. But then, what happens then is that when somebody real wants to gift a bunch of memberships, he's just going to get paid 99 cents for each. Or after YouTube takes their cut, he's going to get paid like 70 cents for each. So this doesn't even work for him either, even if that's like absolutely how it could have been. It doesn't work for him. He needs to get money, then more money, and then the most money. You can't start with barely any money, then more money, then the most. As of now, we should be good. So in any case, his greed just overcomes everything. And it just, he shot himself in the foot again. Okay. So thank you very much in, in advance, you know. Uh, now, someone's already asking, would I, would I ever change it again? I, we gotta see what happens with YouTube. We, I, you know, it, this is all YouTube's fault. This is all YouTube's fault for allowing this, for being complacent and allowing it and not caring. Because people have known about this exploit for a while. Um, it's only come to light on my channels in the last couple of weeks, but people have known about this on YouTube for like a year and a half. Oh, yeah. So this this guy speaks out against stuff once it starts affecting him. Yeah. YouTube's fault. They got to fix it. And I can't make... That, that's why he's so great. Uh, remember, you guys, when uh, somebody from Comcast was allegedly hacking his router? He went on Twitter to make a big deal out of it and basically have a, a call to action. Be like, I know you might not like me, but this is a point that we should all gather together and we should all fight against this uh, whatever, this bullshit. And pretty much nothing happened. Because, I mean, this guy only makes a big deal out of stuff when it concerns him. All right. If eventually they do fix it, right, <clears throat> then... There could be there could be literally somebody going around with a shotgun and shooting everybody in his building. He's not gonna call the cops until that guy starts knocking on his door. That's the kind of guy he is. Well, that's that's none of my business. I don't even care what this is. Maybe we could change it and have like the, the way I see it. No one's gonna join at standard tier. The only people who are gonna get standard tier are gifted, right? That's it. Who's gonna join at standard tier just to get emotes? They want the ability to submit clips for the show, and you can't get that at standard tier. So it's essentially just a, a crappy, useless tier. Um, then why is it four ninety nine or three ninety nine? Excuse me. Why isn't it a dollar then? But it's there just because it's there. It's there just because it's there. So when people gift, he can get the three ninety nine instead of a dollar. Right. That's why it's there. I, you know, I'm not gonna delete it and then people lose their memberships that they were gifted and stuff. So. You know, eventually I'd like to go back down to the amount, uh, amount of levels we had. Oh, yeah, dude. This also means that Derek, since he never spends money on anything, he's always going to be stuck on the basic tier. He's not even going to be on the submissive tier. Oh, man, Derek is fucked. We're never going to see his videos ever again. Yay. Um, <clears throat> Good for everybody. Except Derek. So what can you do, right? What? People are now saying ridiculous things in the chat that don't even make sense, so I'm just going to ignore them. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> well, what's stopping trolls from filling up gifted memberships so other viewers can't buy the new tier? Literally. This literally happened on the DSP Gaming channel. And now this is the face you get, you fucking mouth drooling idiot. Huh? What? Yeah, moron. You have a limit on the amount of people that can accept a membership because people that don't exist can't accept a membership. So if somebody shits up his entire member count with Argentinian memberships, his whole chat's gonna be speaking Spanish, and there's not gonna be anybody to accept the real purebred American memberships. What does that even mean? That what you just said is complete nonsense. It doesn't exist. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, sure. Yeah, so he, is he trying to bait me? There's no bait there. It doesn't even make sense what he said. Yeah, it absolutely does, and it's completely correct. Right. If, if they really... He's misunderstanding it. Is that what it is? Oh, I can't. I oh, think he thinks you're just you being an upgrade. idiot. You can upgrade. Of course. Whatever. Anyway, so there you go, folks. Oh, um, this dude is so yeah. dumb. Thank you 
to anyone who put up with this in the last week. Please, if you were a supporter of that channel, please upgrade to the submissions tier. Um, so we can get the show going. The more, I mean, already people are posting up clips, which is great. But now we have a, a situation where um, we need people to do the upgrade and start posting clips. Because if people don't post clips for Sunday, the show's going to suck, right? Ultra members are exactly the same as always and can post up their clips easily, no problem, right? That hasn't changed. It's really the standard members now who have to become the submission tier for a $2 upgrade. And then they'll be able to do that. And basically, they're getting a discount for a month. No, they're right? not. It's crazy. No, they're so, not. Yes, please do that. No, they're not. Um, and uh, thank you. There's for no me. discount. I'm so happy, really. I am so happy that I did not jump the gun and cancel membership tiers like I said I was going to. I mean, yeah, if you'd done that, that would be really stupid. Because number one. But it would also be a very DSP thing. This is the same guy that deleted hundreds of episodes of his podcast. One, that would have just caused mass confusion. <laughs> that would be would crazy. Upset that they paid for a, a, a membership that doesn't exist anymore. Um, and also, the whole Q&A thing, right? The whole Q&A thing, hopefully that's not a big deal either, right? Um, and, uh, you know, now it stays the same. Yeah, see, see people, people, people are saying is, well, yeah, you see this? Numbers, upgrade for two bucks. See this right here? Oh my god, what a face. Oh god damn. What a face. Anyways, uh, look at this here. Huge drop in May, actually April 2023. Huge drop. Massive even. And here we're still getting by, but here it goes up, you guys. Something really fun happened in December. Yeah. Yeah, they could do that. And then the next month it's six dollars. You see? So this month is $6 once you pay the $2 extra. And next month is $6 because you pay $6. Uh, where is the discount, Phil? Where is the discount? It's not 2 bucks forever. It's 2 bucks for the upgrade. And then next month when it recurs, it's $6. So essentially for one month, I'm going to kind of be screwed if people decide to upgrade. I'm going to lose money. I'm going to make half as much because normally it's $4 per membership. Now I'm only going to get 2 so my revenue for DSP Reacts is going to dip like this for this month. And there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> but once it goes to the renewal. You know, what he can do about that is big. So people can negate uh, the negativity in the rest of the month. should try it to prove a point. Lol. They already are. Yeah, they've been trying that. The day he started streaming on the throwback channel or, or maybe on the React channel. He got like 500 gifted memberships from Argentina. So yeah, they're already doing that. In a matter of days, they're going to just fill up all of the, the capability of him accepting memberships, and there's not going to be anybody left to take them. There you go. Now it's back to, you know, it's $6 to keep it going. So there you go. Oh, yeah. To be clear, nothing is changing with memberships on this channel. Nothing will change with, with throwback channel. Everything's the same. I'm not going to bother changing anything on this these channels because, again, what are you offering as perks on the throwback channel? Nothing was ever based on memberships. On like for real, actually. Why does he even have memberships there? On this channel or on the throwback channel. We got rid of the member goals for events a long time ago. The dents could still just wait for someone to GIFR them ask membership then pay only $2 every month going forward. Lord. They, they can also do that. And I mean, that's in their best interest as consumers. So I, I don't see anything wrong with that. And, the, you know, there's no show where you can buy into the show by being a member here. I'm actually very happy I never did it. You know, a lot of YouTubers do that. Tons of YouTubers have their revenue and all their content based off memberships. Can you imagine if I did and then this exploit was found? But, it might but, destroy my whole business. But bro, this is what you've been talking about for the last few days. It's how his business is in trouble. He dropped like 37% revenue uh, compared to last month because of this. And like, how are you trying to make it seem like other people are now fucked? I'm very happy that I didn't do What it. a fucking idiot. I, I swear, I get lucky as shit all the time. Oh, it's, yeah, you don't have to tell me that. This is a situation where for some reason, I didn't really base a lot off of memberships. And my God, did it save my ass right now? Because could you imagine if most of my income was memberships and then this happened? Like, I'd be completely assed out right now. Yeah, so now it's not most of his, uh, his income. Now it's just a big chunk, quote unquote. So again, I'm kind of lucky in this regard, okay? 
37 okay. percent but we don't think about him anymore because now everything's been handled Quick. i'm gonna run downstairs and put my wallet back because I, I don't want to forget and leave it in here oh my god this whole this idea where you're having a live stream and you need to get up and go to a different part of the house just to do something you could have done at any different time is for me just just him wasting everybody's time actively he knows exactly what he's doing he knows he shouldn't be bringing his fucking wallet downstairs he knows that he should be sitting here talking to people but he just decided you know what i'm gonna slack a little bit i'm just gonna go it's like you're at work and you just go to the to the water cooler and you just sit there for like five minutes you know i know exactly what i'm doing but what are they gonna say what are they gonna do about it fire me you can't fire me i run this company and I want to tell my wife about Tekken that we can play yeah. it tomorrow. That's going to be cool. And then yeah, we got you, you couldn't do that somewhere else. It's a different time. Got news to do. We got a new a quick. Oh god, it's already 12:15. It's already 12:15. I guess we're not doing news today. I had a bunch of news stories saved up, but I guess we can't do it. Cuz like sometimes he would step away from the stream to get a piece of paper. He would read something out of the piece of paper and then step away again to leave that piece of paper somewhere else. And in that time, you got like two minutes where nothing is happening. All right, I'll, I'll be right back. And this is absolutely intentionally to waste time. There's no doubt in my mind. Just like the bathroom breaks after the pre-stream, that's absolutely to waste everybody's time again. All that shit. There's just no, no doubt. We get to skip this. He has gone for actual minutes. Of course. Oh. Uh I ran into a true soul. I said, sorry, I don't have time to fight you. I got to finish my podcast. And, and I some bullshit. In the nuts, and I escaped the fight and I ran back uh -huh, upstairs. Sure. Okay. So, um, let's just get right to shout outs because the show is, we're running out of time. It's so much freaking time. <laughs> I swear every show, we're like, oh, we're going to, we have so much time to do stuff. We never have time to do anything. Yeah, because you waste your time looking at your PlayStation dashboard, downloading games, and going around to bring wallets to a different part of the house. And it benefits him. Talked about how he did a video for Slayer and was impressed he could eat at a Michelin star for only five bucks. Hey, you know, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. And we forget about all that stuff when it comes to him. When it comes to him risking something or being able to lose something. You do realize that I had a suggestions thread in like September and October. And we haven't even talked about that thread in like a month. We yeah. don't have time. Because you waste too much time talking about yourself and the games you've been playing and the games you're going to play. As if anybody cares. Today we have too much to talk about. All right. Shout outs. First of all, thank you to Rocky Suezo for a super chat this morning. And then thank you to Johnny Zudo, who just did a $5 super chat. And is, I think he's asking about the Royal Rumble or something. Hey, big ups Frank or Z for the 50, member, 50 memberships, dude. That's a massive amount. Everybody who got one, you can go check out the members only videos. They're nothing really special, but you get premium access to them. I don't care if these are Argentinian or full, full price, man. I appreciate it, dude. Big ups. Johnny Zudo says, are you going to watch the Royal Rumble this weekend? Got any winner predictions? I know nothing about it whatsoever. I don't know who's in it. I don't know if they've changed the rules in the last few years. I don't know anything. I don't watch pro wrestling. I literally have not seen a pro wrestling match. Since 2020, I have unfollowed all pro wrestling threads on Twitter and X, whatever you want to call it. I am not informed about wrestling whatsoever. I don't care about it. Thank you for the super chat. Um, <clears throat> yeah, for some reason, I'm not really buying this. Today. But it, that would make it even more sad that he's spending all this money on fucking on uh, on WWE champions. You don't even care about wrestling. What do you care about? Candy Crush? Why even bother? God damn. Oh, and thanks for another 50, dude. Big ups. Huge ups. Is a twenty dollar tip from One Minute Man. He says if you get to Last Light Inn, try to get Saloon's blessing from Isabel, and you need to get a Moon Lantern. Great. Nope. All right. Um. So that's what we got so far. I just shouted out all the contributions we have already today. So again, if anything else comes in, um, please thank you. Uh, like I said, right now, it would help a lot. Between now and the end of the month, I'm hoping that things will actually pick up a bit to make up for the, all the lost revenue I got from this membership debacle. But outside of that, thanks. Let's see what you guys want to talk about. Tag me in the chat. Oh, we got a and, uh, bunch of That's done. Q &A. Then we do another retro-style game. And maybe I don't know why he can't do the suggestion box instead of the Q&A, because it's practically the same thing. One of those Final Fantasies. I'd be down for that, for sure.
JDTV is upset that I'm putting Sea of Stars on hold, but I'm planning on still playing Pal World. Here's the difference between the two. Sea of Stars is an ongoing narrative game that if you only play it once every two weeks for two hours, you're making no progress and you might as well not play it because you're not going to satisfy anyone. Pal World is a game that's just mess around fun meant to be chill. Much like Minecraft, you could jump in, jump out at any time. Oh, wow. So now he understands why people like the game. It's pretty crazy. It doesn't matter how much you're playing, how consistently you're playing, it's easier to play like that. That's why Pal World makes more sense to be a game. Plus right now, Pal World's all the rage and hot. While Sea of Stars has no hype behind it, I still want to play it, but Pal World is something people want to see right now, and that's why I'd consider playing it over Sea of Stars. Sure thing, Baldur's dude. Gate 3 before he starts giving tips about it. Hunter complain demo slapping. There's certain genres of games that are perfectly fine games, that would never work on this channel because of the style of audience that I have. And that's okay, you know? Like I like what? being a jack of all trades, I do, but it can't be everything. It just Dude, he should play like 4X games. That's gonna be so fun. It just can't, it can't be everything. Or like a grand strategy? Wow. Imagine if him playing, what was the, Crusader Kings. That would be wild. But he would somehow end up making his entire family incestuous, somehow. Cause that's just, that's just the, the, the Phil way, dude. We gotta make him purebred Italian. Thing, right he's gonna make his family tree a family circle and before someone says well why doesn't co-op work because when i'm doing co-op i can't talk with you it's that simple whenever i'm doing co-op gameplay i can't watch the chat i can't talk with the chat i can't do shout outs i can't have conversations i'm literally just talking with my co-op partners it happened when i played destiny it happened when i played apex legends it happened when i played monster Hunter. wait 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 wait, wait. when when he played apex legends he had that guy brian playing as him of course that guy seemed like a pretty normal guy so clearly naturally he distanced himself from dsp immediately after that but what happened is that guy was actually responding to people in dsp's chat and things that they were saying while they were playing so you can actually do that phil crazy stuff right crazy stuff people don't like it so that's why i don't do co-op <clears throat> Dragon's Dogma 2 in late March, I am absolutely going to play. I loved Dragon's Dogma 1. And uh, something really funny about those streams is people started liking Brian or the trolls pretending to like Brian. So it took the spotlight away from DSP on DSP stream. And you know what that means. Oh, yeah, you know what that means. That guy is in ban world. Get out of here. This is my stream. People should be talking about me and not the cool guy I'm playing with who actually reads chat and seems like a pretty normal guy. And so I cannot wait to try two. One was like a one of my favorite games of that year when it came out. So I absolutely want to play two. Bernelski? Bernelzenager? What happened, dude? We're lurking. Demon in the corner says, "Would it be funny if YouTube fixes the gifted membership exploit and then compensates you accordingly? It would be massive." Uh -huh. to the troll. Yeah. Yeah, but they're not gonna. Yeah, dude. Imagine somebody gave me a lot of money. That would be a huge L to the people that don't want me to get a lot of money, wouldn't it? And do that because that would just be money magically coming out of thin air. Literally. They allowed people to get memberships for insanely discounted rates. They're not all of a sudden just gonna lose money and give me money to make up for it. You know what I mean? It's their fault. It's their, it's their transactional problem. They don't have the money to give me. So that's never going to happen. Darth Fig did a super <laughs> chat. He says, now that you played 60 hours of Baldur's Gate 3, what's your opinion of the voice actor of Asterion winning best voice actor? He's all right. I don't think he's anything amazing or over the top better than anybody else. So no clue. Oh, really wow. no clue. Six I don't have a clue a either. With an affectation in his voice, that doesn't mean that he's any better than anybody else, you know? Wait, Personally, wait, hey, what? I don't get it. Just because, oh, just because he kind of talks a little bit with an affectation in his voice, that doesn't mean that he's any better than anybody else, you know? What? <laughs> just being honest here. <laughs> this stuff. <laughs> what was this even supposed to mean? More than likely. Is it, isn't that the point of voice actors that they're supposed to act with their voice and make affectations in their voice what what kind of an opinion was this just say you don't like him bro just say you don't like him sometimes you can hate on people for no reason that's what makes a hater a real hater the gaming journey. and this is a dude who is a purebred hater purebred 100 percent hater but he tries to run away from his real identity so much 
by putting on the fake persona of the positive guy who just likes everything while he hates everything. Journalists just got boners over him or something, right? Like they thought he was attractive. They thought that he was like the gaming equivalent of like Johnny Depp. So they like, you know, Johnny you know, Depp got fucking hard ons for him. So they all nominated him or something. That's what I think. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, <laughs> but that's, I can't figure another, another reason. Uh, by the way, I'm not, I'm not slighting his voice acting talents. I think he's a good voice actor, but I, he didn't like, he hasn't blown me away as a voice actor in this game above everybody else in it. You know what I'm saying? So. <clears throat> Thank you for your opinion, Phil. Thanks. <laughs> I'm wrong. He's a talented actor. Oh, I guess I didn't just say that. Oops. I don't know. Uh, uh, weren't there also very attractive women that were nominated for the, the voice actor of the year type of thing? I guess if people want to simp over somebody, they're going to simp over the very attractive women. Would I replay Dragon's Dogma 1 again? No. Robbie says, not a question, a compliment. I noticed you're aware of chat and you try to engage. Thanks. That's, that's my job. That's my job. It's not just to play a game. It's to have an engaging and interesting chat with all of you every single day. Like, oh that's yeah, game, right. Yeah, it's not just me playing a game. It's us enjoying a it's community us. experience. Honestly. Yeah, except you can't talk about a lot of things in his chat. Uh, basically, everything that he doesn't care about, you are straight up not allowed allowed to talk about. Just straight up, you can't talk about it. You like football? Too bad. He doesn't. You can't talk about it. You like basketball? Too bad. He doesn't. You can't talk about it. You like a movie he hasn't seen? Too bad, you can't talk about it. A stream. That makes a community a community. And man, again, I kick myself every day when I think back to my past. I streamed from 2013 to 2017 and not once did I do that. Four fucking years I, I squandered where we could have had this amazing streaming experience and I didn't do it because I was ignorant to the fact of how important it was. <laughs> I'm happy that for the last Imagine, seven years. Bro, I still cannot believe... He spent like, what, three years pretending to be making a raw playthrough while actually live streaming. It's great. It's beyond me that you can do something like that and think it's a good idea. He straight up just turn on the stream, close chat. They don't exist, but they do exist if they want to give me money. We've done it, but four years. It's like so fucking hilarious. We missed. I'm an idiot. Because they legitimately only existed so he can make money off of them. That was the prime purpose of him even streaming himself. And then, on top of that, he was doing pre-streams where the PlayStation 4 dashboard music would just endlessly play on loop. It's like the worst thing ever. The worst. Prisoner says, is it worth buying a PS5 seeing all exclusives are going to be on PS, PS, uh, PC this year? Well, number one, do you trust that all the PC ports of these games will be great? Because if you haven't noticed, a ton of times the ports on PC are not great at launch and be, are they very inferior. They have graphical issues. They have crashing bugs. They have game corruption issues. Um, it's about ease of use. You know, honestly, for me, that's why I'm a console gamer. Because when I started off to be a YouTuber, I wanted to be able to boot up a game every day and consistently play it. Literally on PC, you can't do that. You boot up a PC game half the time and something's going to go wrong. I don't want to fuck around like that. So I just play on console. So it's about ease of use for you. If it doesn't matter to you that the game might not work and you have to spend a few minutes tweaking it every time you play it, then get it on PC. Go for it. You know, you'll probably get the, the better graphical experience over time figuring out the settings and everything that work. What? But, uh, Wait. What? I just don't want the hassle. So, oh, so you're going to be tweaking the game every single time you play it and not just once when you start playing it? Dude, come on. It, it, it almost makes you feel like this dude has never played on PC, and I know for a fact he has. And it makes it so much more confusing. All that money on a PC rig just to have it be annoying every time I want to play. So, every time? did a super chat, and he says, uh, what did he say? He said... Drop, drop Pal Patrol World. It's a kitty game. Pal Patrol? You like you like playing Pal Patrol? Cool. What? And he didn't get the joke with uh, Paw Patrol. Because it seems like Paw Patrol is is a little like kitty franchise. Wait. And the joke was that this is called Pal Patrol because you know it's uh. It's Pal World, or whatever that was called. 
So he was comparing it to this and was like, drop it, it's a kitty game. But he just didn't get it. Most of the time when you say, he's like, drop this game, I don't like it. Skip this game, I don't like it. Don't do this. Did you ever think about saying, hey, do this, I really like it. Yeah, and then um, that's how the suggestion box happened. And the reason why it's not happening anymore is that he couldn't find a suggestion that he actually liked. Hey, you know what? That's really good. Did you ever think about being the opposite? If you focused on the things you liked rather than the things you didn't like, you'd probably enjoy your life a lot more. That's just some advice that I'm, I'm going really? to give you because I've learned that in the last many years. Crazy. On the good rather than the bad actually makes you a more positive person overall, and you will enjoy your life better uh -huh. if you focus on the good and not the bad. You know what? I agree with you, Phil. Try it for a while. I'm, I'm serious. Try it for a week. Uh, so I really like when streamers don't burp into the microphone. They don't snort into the microphone. They don't get up and leave their podcast for minutes on end and then just come back like nothing happened. I like when streamers don't complain about the money that they get, that it's already optional for them to get. I like them when they don't cry about the views that they get. I especially like streamers when they don't bring up the amount of money they make and how that's somehow your problem and you should make that amount bigger. I really like that. You know what? That This like fo uh, positive reflection is making me feel very good right now. Don't just sit there and be like, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Instead say, oh, I actually like this and like this and like this. And I bet your, your mindset's going to change. because it has And I, I really like it when streamers don't try and make a... Um, a manipulative exploitative parasocial relationship with their fans so their fans can feel like they're their actual friends and not just a random guy on the internet i really like it when streamers don't do that for me it has take a look at monday instead of torturing myself playing resident evil zero i said fuck this piece of shit let's play tekken 8 demo and i had an outstanding day yeah but you were negative in the Resident Evil game, right? And talking about how much you hate it. That's you being negative. You didn't focus on the positives. Right? Focus on the good, not the bad. Yeah, but you just said about... There you go. Uh, uh, you, you just... You just... Phil. There you, you go. You just Six said... Uh, yeah, bah. You just said you quit a game because you didn't like it. You were focusing on the negative. 72 did another Super Chat. He says, we'll try the Cyberpunk DLC. I like that. Fair enough. Fuck no. That's a piece of shit. But thanks for the Super Chat. And that's a good step towards uh, reality. And a good step towards a positive attitude for the rest of your life. But I'm not playing that that fucking dog turd. Hell no. Really? Anyway. Oh, this is epic. It's actually epic. Because this is legitimately how he sees the world. If you fucked up once, you are tainted. And you have no way of redeeming yourself. But he can fuck up time and time again. Be in denial about fucking up. And then 10 years later admit to fucking up. To even more things. And then expect you to accept that apology or whatever the fuck and consider him redeemed. <laughs> uh, I got a $2 tip from Lady Charisma. It's a shame you've fallen out with wrestling. I got into your content with WWE stuff you used to do. Most of your complaints from when you stopped have been improving since Vince got out of power. But more respect to you. I fully understand why you stopped watching. I'll be lying if I said I didn't miss those late streams after a pay-per-view and most of the chat was talking about what happened. Yeah, it, you know, times change. I, in reality, me just getting older, right? I don't have all that time I used to have. There we go. Back the An another midlife crisis segment. He's talking about it like he's 65 and actually has a job. Yeah, I did. I had tons of time and I'd be like, oh, I can watch this show and this wrestling show and this wrestling show and go online and read all the papers and the rumors and things. I just don't, I don't care about it anymore. I have so much going on in my life like what and a lot more time honestly dedicated like bro the only reason you're not doing weekly q a's with your wife is because you don't have enough going on in your life to be able to answer questions about your life all of those questions people had exhausted themselves and started repeating themselves within the four total hours of q a that they did within two weeks it was all over to work as well like let's be honest it's not just play video games upload now it's like schedule streams do important content during the streams do all this stuff around it approving comments working on two <laughs> other channels at the same time listen to My this busy boy we're busy listen to this busy boy oh man i gotta put up the broadcast on youtube that takes two seconds oh man i gotta approve comments that takes five seconds while i'm taking a shit Oh my god, I have to uh, do other things for other channels. Ugh. I'm so busy. As, as I get older, so... You know what? 
You know what? I have no sympathy. I I just don't have time for wrestling. It's all so exhausting. No time for wrestling. For no payoff, and that's really why I just don't care about it anymore. Um, but thank <laughs> you for. He can't even convince himself that he's busy, man. It's like the the whole the whole gimmick is just falling apart. It's just so flimsy. Understanding. <clears throat> Dude, I gotta approve comments so people in my comment section can have a discussion that I'm directly supervising so I can make sure that all of them say very nice things to each other. Let's see here. By the way, the, the landscapers are coming by if you can't hear them. Oh, yeah, I can. Let me close the window because it sounds like a slew of them are coming by with their, their mechanisms. Are they coming in? <laughs> they come? You better close that window or some uh, Spanish-speaking individual might sneak in. Hello? Yeah, you know what I really like about streamers is when they do this. Cloudy has tipped me five dollars. Excuse me. Cloudy has done a five dollar super chat. Let me correct that. It says, hey Phil, I'm getting into sleeping dogs for the last few days. Racing parts have some of the biggest rubber banding I've ever seen, but I'm enjoying it a lot. I do remember that and I called the game out for that. But outside of the rubber banding, I think the game is great. I like the the melee combat it was so unique. It was like GTA, but with actually really good melee combat. And a really cool storyline, right? Not to say GTA doesn't have a cool storyline, but it has a really good story. So. Jade, hello. He says he's getting... Oh, wow. Hey, hey. What's up? The Jade does... Uh, Jade gets the salute? God damn. Jade must be a high-ranking officer. God damn. He got the full thing, man. I can eat deluxe and he's... <laughs> Even got it, like, straight up, like, signature style. Yeah, really cool. It's like a taunt. It's like a Fortnite emote. Storyline, Look at right? this. He pressed the wrong button. GTA doesn't have a cool storyline, but it has a really good story. So. <laughs> Jade, hello. Hello. He says he's getting Tekken 8 Deluxe, and he's going to play it tomorrow. And he just kept the hand oh, up. So him, Why the hand uh, still up? <laughs> see you in SOS. See you in SOS. <laughs> sea of Stars. I'll see you tonight for Sea of Stars. Yo, he deciphered it. He solved the Jade Enigma. That was a good one. You could see the little hamster in his brain. Drunk off that gin, trying to figure it out. And now, a nice Salvano thumb. Look at this. Gotcha. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah, I just found out, Jade. It unlocks tomorrow at 3 p.m. my time. So probably my wife and I will play it together on my day off, which I'm really excited for. I actually made me really happy. I was like, oh, I can actually watch Cat play. I can help her out. I get to see her, like, try characters and do fights and stuff. It was oh, really he's going to be annoying the shit out of Cat. Oh my god, he's gonna be like the worst backseat gamer, man. It's gonna be like, I, I wish I was a fly on the wall for that segment when he's coaching Cat how to play Tekken. I'm watching her play the demo. So I oh my god, Cat, you're such a fucking mouth drooler. You're supposed to block this. Like, low block, you fucking idiot. Can't wait for her to play it tomorrow. It's gonna be great. <laughs> oh my god. It would be so funny. Peter Littleton became a member this morning? Perhaps. We have one new membership, so it might have been Peter. I'm not sure. It could have been a re-upping, too. He says, what restaurant has the best fries? I have no idea. Five Do guys. If I go to a restaurant, I wouldn't order fries. I'm not... When I say that, I mean like a real restaurant, like a sit-down formal restaurant. Like, if you mean fast food, I don't know. I'd have to actually test all the fries because I don't think I've eaten the fries at a lot of fast food places recently. I think Burger King has the worst. They're like the most bland fries you can eat. You know, it's just like pure potato and nothing else, no other flavor. I think Wendy's has been all right, but I- God damn it, these french fries being just pure potato. These fucking idiots. They need to learn how french fries are made. Wendy's fries in ages, so I- Is he... Will I do fan tournaments in Tekken 8? I don't really think no. about that. No, no, The answer is no. I don't know how the tournaments work or any- Of you- Anso Kamaro says, Dairy Queen's the worst. They don't even know what salt is. Ha ha ha! No, you know what it is? Because at Dairy Queen, they expect you to dip your fries in ice cream. I'm serious, too. Like, I've heard that. That everyone who goes to Dairy Queen, they'll they'll get food and ice cream, and they take their fries, they dip it in their ice cream. And I'm like, that's fucking weird. I wouldn't want to dip my fries in ice cream. That sounds bizarre to me. I don't know. <clears throat> Some people are saying that's awesome. See, I never had that. I don't... I don't that's... That oh, dude, so we're completely scraping the bottom of the fucking dented bucket, man, with these questions. Hey, Phil, wh wh what are the good fries, Phil? And then we got like a three-minute segment about which fries are good. Which fry is podcast nice? 
Would I do a Valentine stream with Cat? I'm gonna be honest with you. We've been so busy. We haven't really even thought anything about Valentine's Day whatsoever. I don't even think the words Valentine's Day have come out of either of our mouths this year yet. Yeah, because that's for people that actually love each other. Seriously. So we'd have to just, look. Just like they forgot their anniversary, too. That's a that's a very passionate, loving couple, by the way. You're supposed to believe. That's the official narrative. Look, we'd have to see <laughs> what scheduling is like. You know, I don't even know when Valentine's oh Day is. Oh, my God. Because it's like there was a, during the second Q&A they did, somebody asked them if they can kiss on camera. And he reacted to it like he got, like, sexually assaulted or something. It's like, oh, no, we can't fucking kiss on camera. What do you think this is, a sex stream? He was so pissed off. Even though she kissed him in the original cat Q&A from like 2018. She just straight up kissed him on the cheek and there was no problem with that. He even gave us one of the greasiest faces he's ever given us. And I think uh, I think it's worth busting out the pick, 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 go for this one. Because it was so good. Pick, pick, go, dot, re. And we got kiss on the cheek is what this is called. Can you give Phil a kiss on the cheek? And then she leans it. Manual smooch. I don't know if it's working, dude. Oh, no. Massive delay. Here, okay, I let's have see. No Maybe idea. it's going to pop up. It looks like it's a Sunday. No, that's January. It's a Wednesday. May hey, maybe we do a Wednesday night stream where it's family night. Kat and I are here and we do some Like a Dragon together. A Valentine's night stream. How about that? He's already figuring out ways to sell her to us. We'll find out. There it is. I found it. Found it manual style. I received a five dollar super jet from. Even though, even though it pop up on uh, Pig Pig Go, so that works. Confirm. So let's see it here. Look at this. The nice, healthy cat having so much fun. Phil looking nice and healthy and crispy. Are you paying attention. The nice little piss. Uh, how would I even call it? The piss color scheme? There's like plot lines inside of fucking plot lines and twists and turns and shit. But that's a good anime. I agree. Yeah, he's just as spaced out as she used to be uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, Just Gamer John did a 25-bit series. Says, Phil, love you. Would you give Phil a kiss on the cheek for everyone on stream? You see, there was no problem with that. He wasn't sexually harassed in this one. Do that. What? And she's looking at him like it's the first time they've ever kissed. She's looking at him like a mail order bride. She's like, are you really asking me to do this? Y you know we don't kiss. You don't have to. It's up to you if you want to. Don't feel pressured. He's just asking, would you give me a kiss on the cheek? Would you? Come on. Would you? Uh, look at this. Now this face he gives. It's like an all-time DSP face. I'm going to slow this down to like 0.3. And just look at it, man. The dude is so happy to have a wife. I mean, girlfriend. Look at this. Right into the camera. Right in the camera. God damn. He's got that alpha energy. I want to have sex with your wife. Look at this wholesome streamer moment. And then he keeps looking at the camera. As in like, you see? You see? I get bitches. I get them. Oh, what a fucking cringe ass moment. This is like a moment from The Office. When you look at the camera and you react to something that happened, you break in the fourth wall. Slice of her soul, will you be my Valentine? Absolutely not. In fact, uh, oh my God, excuse me. Please don't. I have a strict instructions to the armed guards that patrol outside my house that if Lice for soul comes anywhere within, within like 50 feet of the house, that they just start chucking high explosives during its general direction, like grenade, live grenades and stuff. That, that wouldn't be very effective, would it? You just got dudes throwing out random grenades at a guy? <laughs> That's not a very good idea, is it? You would probably have better luck with like a sniper rifle or something. Keep that guy away. It just started to throw grenades at him. <clears throat> and then if he, he manages to roll past the grenades, I hit this big red button and the... The actual pavement sinks in. It's a moat with, like, uh -huh. hungry gators start jumping up. Well, at least that would explain all, where all your money goes, you know? That would make it make more sense than right now, where the official narrative is that it goes on bills, and the unofficial narrative is that it goes on mobile games. <laughs> it's great. <clears throat> there you go. Silent Hill, I'm glad you enjoyed the bells. Now you can enjoy your band from the channel as well. Wait, 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 what? Th this is great. Hold on. 
That was one of those clapback bands. When he bans somebody and has like a one-liner, a quip. Very nice. I love those. Uh, my favorite one is, uh, well, just because I can, I'm going to issue a lean-in manual ban. But hold on, my shit froze. It's just what happens to professional streamers, you guys. Come on. It sinks in. It's a mo- And to fix this, I'm going to increase the price of my membership so my shit doesn't lag again. I'm going to make them 20 bucks. There you go. Silent hit. I'm glad that you enjoyed the belch. Now you can enjoy your ban from the channel as well. But what, what, why would you ban him for pointing out that you're belching while you're belching? For complaining about it. Complaining about it. I'm serious, too. Goodbye. <laughs> wow. Goodbye, bitch. Oh, and you, you get called a bitch. That's extra alpha. <clears throat> Super alpha. Even Sigma. He's a pigma male. Hello? What? Abdullah says, for some reason, in his region, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth is banned from digital stores, but the catch is their shops that are selling physical copies. Why? That's weird. Why is it banned from where you are? I don't know. It doesn't have anything too bad in it, does it? I mean, that, again, the game's not out. Maybe it does have bad shit in it. I don't know actually what's in it. Maybe, um, maybe it has like a gambling mini game. And some countries are really hardcore on gambling stuff. I'm not sure, though. You know, yeah, I would think that it's on par with other- Because there's a lot of places where loot box are literally just banned. You, you can't buy loot boxes. Yakuza games, which can have some risque content, but there's usually no nudity, right? No, like, brutal murders or anything. Like, what are they just saying? What are they doing in this game? No, they just have happy, friendly murders. Like in the MCU. What is my favorite, uh, food? Well, I don't have a favorite food, but I have a favorite beverage. I love collecting- the salty, salty tears of all the people out there who wish me harm. What? And I love collecting them every time that I succeed at something in life <laughs> in a big bucket. When was the last time you collected some? I think at this point they would have evapor uh, evaporated and all the salt is just going to be left. And when was the last time you took a W, Phil? And what I do off stream <laughs> is I chug it. I go, ah, 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 ah. And now people are just going to Photoshop dicks in his mouth. There you go. Big ups, Phil. You gave us more ammo. And it invigorates me to come on stream every day. But this literally, this, like, half of this stream was just crying about memberships and losing a bunch of money on him. And now we're talking about taking so many L's, he's got, like, a bucket of tears. And continue to be successful. I love that, man. It's so delicious. However, the high sodium content definitely kind of kills my body. That's why I have to chug other water during the course of the day. Uh-huh. Other, other water. Is this your wife's tears? Mmm, delicious, right? But at least she gave him a kiss on the cheek, you guys. She gave him a little cheeky kiss. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This all, you know what? I understand that drinking tears is bad for you, but it's worth every drop. Let me put it that way. It's oh, so you're... every drop to make the sadness of those who don't like me a part of me. Really? <laughs> so they can, they can live rent-free in you? Um, okay, Phil. Okay, you might want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not playing free DLC for God of War, Ragnarok, or Final Fantasy 16 at this point. I think uh, it doesn't really matter. Being honest, literally almost no one cared about God of War, Ragnarok's DLC on my channels. People said it was great. I'm like, that's great. But I didn't get any big movement or anything to play. I don't think, again, these DLCs never do well on my channel. People like the original games, but as soon as the DLC comes out, I'm like, eh. The exception may be being like a, a FromSoft DLC or an expansion character. Yada, yada, yada. From so much noise from the landscapers. God damn it. Professional play in Tekken 8. What do you Danger. I don't believe that. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth is a chance to save the Final Fantasy franchise more. And right, like, you know, maybe weeks or months down the road. I think it took like two months in Street Fighter 6 for me to do it. So I've literally never been a part of the Tekken FGC. Never. never oh, yeah. Now we get to talk about the Tekken Mall trophy. From like 2003 or something. Uh, I don't have an opinion on the Tekken FGC versus Street Fighter. I don't know anything about it. I've never, I've literally never been a part of the Tekken FGC. I've never played Tekken competitively. I don't know any of those players or nothing. So I can't make a single comment on it. <clears throat> okay, well, there we go. We're not even going to flex the, the trophy. Come on, dude. He died in Tekken 6. Is that true? 
Wang dies in the plot of Tekken 6? Oh, no. Sure. I love sure Wang. And his... I don't know. Joke? Oh, my goodness. All right. Have we, uh, have we caught up here? I yeah, think we're good, he's right? So, <laughs> he's so sleepy. All the complaining made him sleepy. All the drinking, the troll's tears made him sleepy. It gave him a achy tummy. <clears throat> His tummy hoits. All these tears. Okay. Okay. Let us uh, end the show. I'm excited. So here's the deal with Friday, all right? I'm sorry I didn't get the news today. We had a lot to talk about, right? On Friday, like what? Like you could have gotten to news. You just wanted to do a Q and A instead for like twenty five minutes. Waste everybody's time. We'll cover some news stories. I'll Cause like the Q and A, guys. Now, guys, the Q and A used to be a thing that he did when he had covered everything and didn't have anything to talk about. And now the Q and A is just a mainstay. It's just the main event of the podcast, and we just do that instead of doing your actual segments. Like the suggestion box or the DSP news bullshit. Tell you how it went playing Tekken 8 with Cat on my day off. And I'm excited, obviously, for a big new release day on Friday. I hope that you guys will join me for the big new release day Friday. It should be an exciting one. And thanks for a great, a great January so far. Because like I said, other years typically January can not be very exciting because there's not much going on in the realm of gaming. And there's usually a lot of filler content for me. Since we played Baldur's Gate 3, that was kind of a new release for me. That was exciting. You know, the whole project, the DSP throwback thing, kept the momentum going. Having Cat come back to my Super stream exciting. really reinvigorated stuff. So, And he makes a really good face here. And that's, uh, I guess, the last thing me, I want to see. Exciting. The, for, you know, the whole this. project, the DSP throwback thing, kept the momentum going. Having Cat come back to my streams. Oh, look at this. Really reinvigorated stuff. How did it reinvigorate stuff is what I'm trying to figure out. They got asked a bunch of questions that he answers on a daily basis. Most of the answers could have been given by a bot. Matter of fact, ChatGPT gives you much better answers than Phil or Cat. So how exactly are we reinvigorated? Oh yeah, he made a couple of hundred dollars on a night stream, which usually wouldn't happen. So that's how we reinvigorated his uh, PayPal account. That's what happened. But this... I actually kind of want to watch these classic DSP and cat stuff, even though I've watched it like five times on stream before. Uh, but they're just really funny. And now we have a frame of reference and a, a base for comparison with current cat and past cat. And I mean, not just in looks, but also opinions. Uh, but I don't have time to watch this because I got to bounce now. I might do it next time or whenever I want to make a, a longer style stream. Oh, this uh, the Dick Stroke and Phil vlog video dropped, dude. I started watching... Which one was it? This one. And it was really fucking good. I guess I'll, I'll go and rewatch it now after this. So uh, an hour from now, TBS, we got It's a Gundam on. We're going to be answering questions, listening to people's uh, messages and stuff. If you want to send a message, head over to speakpipe.com slash, I don't know, find the link on, on Twitter or something or in our link tree. And you can get to send us a message, vocal style. And all right, that's that's been it. Um, I got one last thing, and uh, I'm sure Scott Steiner is going to let you know what that is. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for the views and the contributions and the interactions. And I'll see you next time on the Swaycast. Everybody knows I hate fat asses. See, the numbers don't lie. When you scuff on a scale that skyrockets past 300 pounds, you might be a little overweight. So right now, you are 100% fat ass. But if you eliminate the beer, the potato chips, the french fries, you got a 50% chance of losing weight. But since you like donuts and Skittles also, eliminate those and your chances of losing weight are a 47 and two-thirds chance. But right now, I believe you will remain 100% Fat ass. He's fat!